Am I partying too much? <laughs> probably a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's probably the honest answer. I'm okay. Well, as I was it. telling him earlier, I was like, dude, we don't start getting serious here. You're going to get your <laughs> beat next fight straight up. <laughs> Bro, it's it's so crazy. The press conferences are so like, I get drained after them. <laughs> yeah, you're saying that with your eyes closed. Hey, I'm good? tired. Are you good? I'm tired. You have martinis, espresso martinis. That's Don't f- it up. Welcome back to Impulse of the Number One Podcast in the World. Thank you guys for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. We are in Cleveland. It is the first podcast we've ever done in Cleveland, my hometown. Get a round of applause for Cleveland, Woo. ladies and gentlemen. Impulsive on the road, the best show ever. The we best continue city of all time. to bring it. Every single week for you guys. We love you. Thank you for listening, watching, viewing, and subscribing. We do have Mac back. As uh, you may or may not know, my best friend since we were six years old. He lives in Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Glad you could join us for the first half. Yeah, You're you're looking like a pilgrim more than ever. Yep. I just cut my own hair. Uh, Okay. Great job. Thanks, man. I just buzzed it. It was great. Cool. You ever cut your own hair? Not something I'm willing to do. It looks like you do. <laughs> I'm trying to. Uh, it things. looks like I did. <laughs> and by the way, no it one cuts. Does. No one cuts my hair. Dude. He went to a stylist. You went like you just had scissors. Yeah, I got a mullet. Full. Seat Geek is the presenting sponsor of today's special episode. Live events are back, and if you're looking for tickets to anything sports, concerts, and even Jake's beatdown of Tyron Woodley, you can use code Logan for twenty dollars off your first purchase. The link is in the description. How you guys feeling about Cleveland? It's funny. I, I pulled up my notes. Read the read the first note out loud, Mike. What do you what do you see? Go. <laughs> oh, I remember saying this. Cleveland is a natural contraceptive. No matter how bad you want to fuck, you can't. Because there's no one to have sex with. It's really unfortunate, dude. It's a sad it's a sad state of affairs. We went we went to Barley House last night, which is like the uh the club hide, the hide lounge of Cleveland. And uh, you know, Logan brings a security with him everywhere we go. And we're there and uh at the beginning of the night, every time people will come to come into the section, he'll like look at me, like these guys, you know these guys. And at the beginning of the night, it's like business dudes. I'm like, yeah, yeah they're good. And then a couple minutes later, he's like, it's a bride and groom. I'm like, yeah, fuck it, send them in. <laughs> like an hour later, he's like, it's four sixty-two year old women. I'm like, fuck, send it. Send them in, anyone, send any them species, in. send them in the booth. <laughs> it's Cleveland, baby. Everyone's invited. Uh, yeah, no, it's interesting. Um. What is it though? There, there's one. There's one thing that I, we have not spoken about in real life, and and I and I want to do it. I want to do it right here, right now, before Sugar Sean gets here. Uh, it, I heard you had an incident on the plane ride in. Uh oh, I, I did. I heard this is one of the worst yet. So you you have bad luck with airports as is. Airplanes too. And airplanes. This is his flights, dude. I'll let Mike talk, <laughs> and then I'll I'll tell what happened. I want you to jump in at any time. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to let you do your thing, man. I'm going to let you do your thing, and then I'll, I'll explain what happened from my perspective, which I feel kind of happened, but again, I don't know. I wasn't you don't remember. really there for all of it. <laughs> Completely so. unconscious. This is one of the wildest things I've ever seen. Quick, uh, can you boost me in the headphones before I hear a story of this magnitude? Mind you, I, I, I've told them strictly do not speak about the flight until we get on impulsive. Like, that's the, oh, that's wow. the level I just of want everybody I haven't to know, heard this yet. When me and Logan first started hanging out, him and Jake sat me down. They're like, hey, man, like, we can't be friends with you anymore. And I was like, what? Why? And he's like, you're a pathological liar, man. You lie about everything. <laughs> I go, no, I know. He goes, all these stories, man. All these stories you tell us. He goes, there's no way that all this happens to one man. And I go, no, it does. And I started to read these comments on Impulsive where people were like, this guy has to be lying. There's no oh, way yeah. that this should happen. No, it happens, man. Guys, I went through all of it. George, one day, casual, he goes, bro, I just saw a plane go down. Crash. <laughs> yeah. I said, what? Why does it yeah, always have to do with yeah, planes? On the highway, always planes. Oh, I don't know, man. It started to freak me out. I'm at the TSA like, don't let me in. Just don't even, don't even let me in. Random check me because I don't even trust myself at this point. Yeah, and I Googled it and the plane went down exactly where you said. Yeah, I was, I was an extra. I was a background for a movie and I'm literally watching this dude who's a private airplane and just fucking goes up and it goes sh- like down and they, they were like, okay, we can't shoot no more. Everybody has to go home. And I'm like, did I just witness somebody die? Yeah. Stay and away from like, the Cessnas. Gen- stay away from general planes in general. Maybe. Dude, the wife comes out screaming out of the house like it was the most craziest thing. How do you pass or crash our plane again? Yeah. No, well, he passed away. He it went straight oh, he didn't up. Make it? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he was gone. As soon as he landed, I was like, he well, can't he, be he, there anymore. He didn't. Is, he, is he on my he flight landed. on Monday? Or we don't know yet. Yeah, maybe let's just, yeah. What happened, Mike? Shit, shitty. First of all, shittiest flight ever. Now, I enjoyed no, it. No, was it spirit? There's no. 
It wasn't spirit. There's no way I got two words out, and that's as far as we made it. <laughs> you said jump in at any time. Me right now. Not that <laughs> soon. Any time. Not yes. that fucking soon. We have leverage on this side now. <laughs> Not that We're teaming up. Soon. Me and George are teaming up, by Let's the way. Let's go, baby. People always want to fly red eyes. I fucking hate red <laughs> eye flights. I hate them. I hate them. Sometimes you take an 11 p.m. to New York, seven hours, six hours, whatever, you can get some sleep in. 11 p.m. to 6 a.m. Cleveland. It was a four-hour flight. You can't sleep. There's nothing you can do. You got You got to either. You can sleep for a few hours, but you're gonna wake up groggy. You get to Cleveland at six in the morning. What the fuck are you gonna do? Sure. So I get on the flight with David. Uh, Danny was nice enough to stick me in first class. I get on the flight. Who am I delighted to see? I'm gonna be sitting next to. In How you in, doing? in two E. George Janko in oh, the flesh. There he Let's is go. sitting there, and I get on. He gives me that ridiculous smile. <laughs> it's me, George. <laughs> What's up? So I sit down next to him, and um. You know, it's 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 the, the plane takes off and everything. It's eleven thirty, and he goes, "Yeah, man." Before I got on this flight, took so many fucking edibles, bro. So fucking high. Then he just starts pulling snacks out of his bag. First, it's the Funyuns. He goes, "I never had Funyuns before, man. They're fucking great." They were, by the way, fantastic. Oh, and so <laughs> underrated. Oh so my underrated. god! By the way, shopping when you're high is great. Because like you're just like I've never had that. Get it? Most things, <laughs> most things when you're high are pretty great. I think that's why people get high. Keep listening to the story. On, on weed. On, <laughs> on weed. So then, then all of a sudden he's <laughs> on quick, weed. <laughs> then all of a sudden he pulls out some Snickers. He got Snickers, Reese's, little little uh, sour gummies, a sandwich, Gatorades. Mm. The guy comes. He goes, sir, will you be eating the um, the chicken or the pasta? George goes, I'll have the chicken. This motherfucker ate, ate for a family of 12. Came with the ticket. I'm not going to disrespect the lady. <laughs> so, he's, so he's sitting there grubbing. You're right. Yeah. I'm editing a video. Now it's about 1.30 a.m. And he turns to me and goes, should I watch Born, Born Identity? Oh, I was like, great fucking movie. Great Bo- movie. Whole Born series underrated. So I'm editing my video. He's watching Born Identity. Everything's going fine. It's like 1.30, 1.45 a.m. There's a little turbulence. And George, anytime there's a little bump, George goes like this. Is this okay? <laughs> I'm like, I think so, man. <laughs> Another 10 minutes go by. Now I look over. Now, just moments earlier, he had been in really thoroughly enjoying his movie. He's like, this is great. Like, turn this is a great movie. I turn to him and he's like this on the tray table. <laughs> Out of it. Fallen. He go, he he turned. I go, oh, oh shit. He turns to me, he goes, I'm really nauseous. I'm really nauseous. I, I think I'm gonna yak, man. And he has the bag. The little square bag oh, out no. from in front of the seat. And I go, oh, no. George, George, I saw what you just ate. <laughs> <laughs> Do not fucking throw up in that little bag, George. Please. Please go to the bathroom. It's two seats in front of us. So he goes, okay, let me buy. Gets up, walks by. I put my headphones back and I start editing. Ten seconds later, I feel a thud. <laughs> not see, not hear. I feel a thud in my seat. And I look up, and there's George Janko unconscious against the cockpit door with all of the flight attendants around him. Oh no, it gets better because just li- keep listening. Okay. <laughs> take take this in. Oh. Now this is now imagine this. It's 1:45 a.m. Completely quiet flight. Everyone on the flight is either snoozing, drinking. Or in uh, involved in a movie. I love but this now story, everybody by the way. peeks out of their seat like this, <laughs> oh, no. and looks up. And I and here's what I do because this kind of shit, like he said, we see so much. It just doesn't even phase me anymore. I take my, I go like this. I go, motherfucker. I take my, <laughs> I, I take my headphones out. I take my headphones out. I go to the front. <laughs> as soon as I get there, there's there's the classic flight attendants over, leaning over him, right? And he, as soon as I get there. His eyes spring open like this. And he looks at, right at me. He looks right at me. Neither of them. He looks right at me. He goes, and, and right when he opened his eyes, the flight attendant goes, sir, are you okay? He goes, he goes, I think, I think you fell. And he goes, George goes, I didn't fall. I'm just sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> he, he goes, I'm just sleeping against the cockpit door, which is like, as you know, the most sacred area. Uh. The cockpit door is the most sacred area Ever, <laughs> ever, and so the, the flight attendant now looks at me. He goes, he looks at me like this, like I'm gonna be able to answer the question. I go, 
Dude, he's not sleeping. No, you, no, you missed the best part. No, hold on. <laughs> what, what? He turns to Mike and no, goes. No, stop, stop. <laughs> Do not fucking say this. He turns to he goes, he goes, uh, he looks at me. I go, bro, he's not sleeping. He got up, he was feeling nauseous, and he fell on the ground. He fell unconscious on the ground. And the, the flight attendant, I shit you not, goes, well, you can't do that. <laughs> I go, I go to him. I go, I go, I took a breath. I go, dog, I don't think he did it on purpose, man. <laughs> he goes, I go, I don't think he did it on purpose, man. He goes, he goes, well, I'm going to need you to go take your seat. Damn. Damn. So, and you want to know what I'm not doing? I ain't getting fucked up by an air marshal. Yeah, we've seen what so happened. I, yeah. So I went back to my seat and yeah. I sat down. Did they end up duct taping George Dogs. to the seat? Uh, now I'm just watching. They, f- the first thing they do is they maneuver his lifeless body <laughs> over to the hallway. I kept going out. Because you got to get Oh, a- you're back in. You're in and out. Oh, yeah. I, I remember waking up like I'm sleeping and then I just went back out. And then I just woke up again and they're like working on me. And I was like, oh, this is serious. What do you mean working on you? Oh, CPR. Like, oh, CPR on me. So, 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 li- oh, so listen, hold on. So so he, so he they maneuver him away because, like, like I said, they got to get him away from that cockpit door. I that's, asked that's- him to move me this way because I'm like, as I'm going in and out, I'm seeing everybody looking at me through the eye like this. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, could you just push me up against the door over there? <laughs> so they move him out of the way, but I can still see because I'm in two. So Fantastic. I can see to the side door because they put him behind the bathroom. So I look over. Two minutes later, they got him hooked up to an oxygen tank. Whoa. <sighs> Guy comes up to me. He goes, was, was, uh, was, he, was, he, was he drinking a lot? I go, he, does, he doesn't drink, man. Yeah. They go, he's pouring sweat. I look I'll back trash. over. You the, other flight, the, other, the other yeah. flight attendant has those freezer blocks that you put in your freezer that you put in a cooler to keep like shit cold when yeah. you go to the park all over them. And then a third flight attendant is fanning him with a, a United Airlines credit card brochure wow. like this. Mm. <laughs> As she was doing it, he's like, do you know what the kind of points you could get from this? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, of course I have one. <laughs> so anyway, a rapid they, reward member. Yes. They finally, they finally come up to me and they go, I'm in the aisle. They go, sir. We're gonna we're gonna af- we're gonna ask you to um to move your seat over to the window, and we're gonna put him in the aisle so that we can continuously check on him. So they come over, they bring him over, and I'm sitting there, and I look over, and there's George, wife beater, hairy chest, <laughs> pouring out with the fucking oxygen bag attached to his face, and he looks at me. He goes, he goes, <sighs> <laughs> and I go the fuck is going on right now dude. and like he dude so i'd already texted logan i, I texted him first i, I was mic, getting i was getting I turned real the mic and i go i go i go what the fuck just happened <laughs> yeah, I just said, I'm asking the same thing i go what the fuck yeah, just happened but i texted him and he goes you gotta help him i go logan i'm gonna be up front with you I can't stop laughing right now. I am, Bro. I am. You gotta understand I'm tears. crying. Like te- like I'm not not bullshitting like I sat down close to death and he's just fucking... Be- he's Stop. Don't, don't spread that stuff. And I look at him like, this is friendship. <laughs> <laughs> this is friendship. Yeah, They're just is, like... But it really yes. is. Clear. Yeah, he's friendship. like, clear. <laughs> 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 So, because it really I, is that friendship. Can dude. I tell? Because this is the best part. Because I'm listening to his side of the story, and I'm like, "Fuck!" Everything is about like perspective. I'll tell you, as the driver of this vehicle, <laughs> what the fuck was going on. First of all, which I found hilarious. There's so many Easter eggs in this story that I fucking love. One, I met. I'm again. I'm at TSA. I didn't have any problems here at this point. But the person in front of me, like a uh, uh, couple, had six <laughs> kids. All fresh kids. Like this fresh. woman popped these out. All it was like <laughs> the Brady but I couldn't monthly. believe Oh my there was one kid running around with his diaper. Brand new humans. Freshly fucking, minted. Oh my god. I was I had anxiety watching and the person next to me I was like, Oh my god. I just hate when people cause scenes. And I'm like, yeah, me too. I hate that. <laughs> then you did the uh, biggest scene this ever. This dude I was say you're ever. that guy. You're this the guy. dude was on our flight. First front row uh-huh. seat. He's a pilot, and he was taking the flight to go do something else. So he's literally like the front one. Yeah. 
Ladies and gentlemen, we interrupt this program to bring you a word from our sponsor. SeatGeek is the presenting sponsor of today's special episode. Live events are back, and if you're looking for tickets to anything sports, concerts, and even Jake's beatdown of Tyron Woodley, you can use code LOGAN for $20 off your first purchase. The link is in the description. They rate every ticket from 0 to 10 to make sure you're getting a good deal. Green means good. Red means bad. The call to action, use the code LOGAN. $20 off tickets at SeatGeek. Off your first purchase with the promo code LOGAN. Make sure you click the link in the description to download the app. Back to the program. The reason I uh, I got like really intoxicated is because uh, it was in 24 hours I found somebody very close to me passed away. So I was just trying to get out of it and try to be in a good mood. So I took an edible and I was like, you know what? I need extra love today. <laughs> mm. I'm going to take an extra edible. Turns out Elta dude's a bitch. Even to say it, <laughs> it defeats Elta me up there dude. and with the, like the pronunciation I, of it. I have, I have the worst news for you, fam. What? I think because it's pressurized, it is it, the altitude actually is completely irrelevant. <laughs> uh, I, well, I, I've taken two before. Well, no, altitude clearly does something to some people. Yeah. So but when, what, when, when you're, it, the cabin isn't pressurized, it's pressurized to. No, can't you get altitude sickness from? Oh, not altitude. You know yeah. what? That is true. That is that is, that is true. That is true. L- l- long story short, I'm talking to him in real time and also to George's girlfriend, who's very concerned because, of course, as soon as he came back to the seat with the thing strapped to his face, the first thing I did was take an take Instagram. Take <laughs> <laughs> that shit on Instagram. Yeah, you have to. So, so I'm bad. sitting. And, and I got so many DMs. They're like, is he okay? And by the way, when you're la- if you're laughing at your friend <laughs> oh, wait. in a situation, if you're laughing at your friend in a situation like this, it's generally because you know they're okay. Like, he was fine. He yeah. was back at the seat, and the situation was just yeah. funny. How, how much longer is the story, though? No, nah, it's over. That's okay. it. I mean, bro. I mean, would, do you have any zingers, That's bro? what it's, I was going to you know, say. This is like 10 minutes per yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. thing. Yeah. I was going to get to the to the point where I hope it's good. I hope it's good. I could, I could skip past it. You sure? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. No, go, you go ahead. No, I don't want to. Anymore. Okay, great. Uh, <laughs> Last night. Yeah, so we had, a, we had a dinner. This side of the we had a dinner. It was fun. It, it became <laughs> chaotic. Oh, there he fucking Uh-oh. is. Wait, wait. I want My you to opponent. finish this story while he's on. Okay, Because it's so funny. Fantastic. Sugar Shots here. Ladies and gentlemen, What's it's up, Sugar baby? Sean O'Malley. Let's, Let's go, bro. Let's go. What's up, dude? Go. Let's go. Fresh off the plane, eh? Hey, 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 by the way, by the way, hold up, hold up, hold up. No, he's going to have to fight me for my spot. We have to kick you out, bro. You really want that? Yeah, absolutely. I <laughs> no, want no, the hands. No, you don't. <laughs> he goes, no, I don't man. want the hands. Yeah, that's now right. Now you're going right there. Oh, here we go. No, Wait, no, what what's up, guys? No, Welcome we do, to the opposing number one podcast in the world. What? Hold on, up, bro? hold on, Johnny. One that, more time. Sorry. One more time. What's up, guys? Welcome to Impulse of the Number One Podcast in the World. I'm not used to having an audience when I do a podcast. <laughs> yeah. Holy shit. Yeah, well, you guys can't I'm see nervous. there's about, what, 15 people behind the cameras? Um, w- really, though, we do have to switch you guys yeah, to put okay. Georgie back yeah. in. But you're strong, by the way. I'm you, not that strong. When you, yes, you are. When you, really after after you uh, won your last fight, you were running around um, XS at Vegas. Dude. Do, okay, so I don't know if you remember that, but I, I, gri- I gripped you once, and I was like, this motherfucker's strong. Drunk strong. I was just... No, but even now, I'm like, damn. You grab my, you. you grab my, my, uh, what's that? It's your leg? No, a calf. It's your leg. You grab my your calf? Shin. Calf, yeah. You grab my shin calf, dude. Last time I wore these shoes, I was in the bottom of that fucking pool. Can you tell me what happened? Because kind you, of, you, maybe. you ran <laughs> off, bro, and you dove in the pool. But did you dive in the shallow end? Because you came I, out and you went. I, I hurt my head. <laughs> I was bleeding. Um, yeah, I, I remember seeing that video of me saying, "Should I do that?" Yeah. And you're like, no, yeah, but no. Yeah. I took off and I jumped in the pool. It was out. It was, out, it was outside. Yep. It was the shallow. Yeah. No diving. But that's the part you didn't know. I didn't know. Okay. I thought well, it was you didn't six even know where you were. He didn't even know where he was at that point. I knew it was somewhere in Vegas. <laughs> how, how shallow was the was the water? Dude, I literally just head first, boom. So this is one of those pools where it's a gradual gradual increase. To get deeper and mm-hmm. decrease, to get deeper and deeper. So you were yeah. probably like less than a foot of water. Imagine, bro, he sprint, dive. Stupid, George. I hit my head. I did. So I probably did sound like that after, too. It, it, like, actually. Yeah, I felt bad, I though. Hurt. You kind of deserved it after what you did to that last guy. Honestly, bro, it's not. you That's fucking, fair. you shallow end of the pool, that motherfucker, like a thousand times. <laughs> I did, times. just over and How over. How many times did you have to hit that poor man? Well, bro. I had, I was upset with the stoppage. People were upset that he wanted the last 30 seconds. I could have, I had 30 seconds to keep busting him. Yeah. I could have dropped him. Yeah. I was, dude, the last, like, minute and a half of that fight, I threw more punches 
in that minute and a half than I did probably any other minute and a half in the fight. People are like, oh, you were gassing out. Dude, I threw more punches in the third round. I think I threw 80-something in the third round. Every round, I threw more punches. I had 30 seconds to put his lights out. It was so beautiful, bro. It was like watching. You know when you see someone like, it's a, it's a figure of speech, but like thread the needle mm -hmm. like over and over and over again? Your, your striking is so, so strong. Thank you, brother. And, and uh, I, I, someone in this room wanted me to ask you a question. Uh, like, wh why, did, why did you not finish him? Earlier, finish him. You did try. Well, dude, of course I was trying to finish him. That, that dude's tough. That, I don't. I don't know. He just didn't go away. So I'm, I, I've never ran into that. D I've always finished. Him. During the fight, <laughs> were you like, "Oh, this motherfucker's tough"? Like, were you, were you even was, impressed by how much his I was, face I didn't, could take? I didn't think about that at all. Actually, I was, just, dude. I was having so much fun oh, in there. Yeah. Mm. It's it was fun that he could take all that. I was just adding highlight rule highlight reels. At the end of my career, I want like an hour and a half long of just highlights. So the longer someone can stand there, the better That's for cool. me. I, I enjoyed it so much. The only thing that I was kind of thinking about is my hands really were starting to hurt. <laughs> like, dude, my knuckles are still bruised. Eight, this was, what, two months ago? My yeah. hands still hurt a little bit. So in the first round, going into the second, I'm like, dude, my hands are really starting to hurt from his face. And uh, <laughs> so I was I was a little worried about that. Um, but I wasn't worried about being finished at all. I I'd, It felt like I was in no danger. I felt like I was a punching bag walking at me. At, it, 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 with it arms, was, yeah. yeah. At that arms. at that moment at the stoppage, did it feel was it was it uh, palpable to you that his demeanor and his uh, ability to continue taking those shots was 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 different than the rest of the fight, or do you or do you do you still today feel like that stoppage was premature? I I mean, arguably could have been stopped earlier. Mm -hmm. I, I've I've heard that a lot of people were saying. I mean, if you're going to protect him, which was what Herb. Her, her, right? Yeah, Herb yeah. Dean. Herb, Herb was doing. He uh, was protecting him. He could have done that a lot earlier. He was getting completely outclassed. I think he hit me like once on accident. I mean, I don't remember. Uh, <laughs> By accident. Yeah, he didn't mean to if he did. Um, I don't know. I'm not mad at the stoppage, but I really do think I got to put his lights out. I had, the, I had those 30 seconds left, and I was just lighting him up. Is he still uh, kicking? He's, he's fighting October 23rd. He just got a fight announced. What's he look like now? <laughs> Same height and size and everything? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's a good question, honestly. He turned him into mashed potatoes. Dude, he went from 1.5 thousand followers to 180 or something over. Because like, he's... Because he got beat up. That's weird. That's, that's not a good cool. way to became, become popular. Wow. It's not a good way. I, I disagree. People are praising... I, oh, I, okay. I, I, I think... I think <laughs> look, look, look. I disagree because it's like cool, but it's also like... You got your ass kicked, and that's why you're famous. It's it's a. I mean, yeah, he's I don't tough know. as fuck. It's he like really a respect is. thing. Like you throw him that follow because you're like, damn, this yeah. this this a Just real motherfucker. Go down, he also dude. after went on went on record saying he trains eight days a week. So I don't know if that was um, that seems like I did one that too to many. him. That's world champ shit. Yeah, if this fucker trained eight, give him the belt. Yeah, so eight days a week because yeah. only certain people could do that because yeah. everybody else only has seven. I don't yeah. train eight days. Yeah. Can we tell you a story that happened okay. last night? So uh, you're in Cleveland, bro. It's my hometown. Yeah, I love, yeah, yeah. And by the way, thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah dude. Welcome. Dude, thank you guys. Yeah, of course. Because I've wanted to come on here for a while now. We just never were. We're always, we're, we've been in the same spot. Yeah. Been a little drunk sometimes. Most Every times. time. Yeah. I've, I, is this the first time we met sober? Yeah, I don't like it. I hate this. I right hate now. it, too. <laughs> it's so weird. I don't like this, dude. <laughs> no, I actually... It just feels good to be sober right now on a Saturday. Okay, well, I'll, yeah. I'll give you about another two hours before we're going to go ahead. Stop, seems a little, it seems no, a little no, long. No, no, Come on, baby. Are you low-key night? What? What? Are you going low-key tonight? Nah. Well, I, I'm just confused because he's definitely drinking alcohol. That's Pepsi. Oh. With foam. Yeah. Look, last night, dude, we had a nice <laughs> dinner. My friends, my family. It, it's so cool to to bring people that I've met from all over the world that are now my best friends back mm. to the the city I grew the up in. The people you collected. Yeah, I've heard li about this. Literally, yeah. Like, like I'm a collector, right? I collect NFTs. I collect I'm an Pokemon NFT. Cards. I collect friends. My friends <laughs> yeah. are on the blockchain. I listen to that. Uh, listen they're all NFTs. Anyway, sorry. Um, no, no, no. It's, it's, it's really cool. It's a, re it's a really magical time. So we're all just chilling at this, like, you know, local Ohio steakhouse. Ferris Steakhouse. Having a good time, having some drinks, whatever. We're pretty, we're pretty drunk. Well, my family on my mom's side, uh, hooligans, to say the least. Mm. Like, you meet them, you're like, I get why Logan is the way he is. <laughs> sure enough, my aunt walks in Ferris. Oh, God. Woo! She's a woo girl, right? I'm like, oh, here we go. Here we go. First thing she does, makes eye contact with Mike. 
beelines end of the table. Sees Mike. She's like, Mike. Mind you, my my family, my relatives, they support me. They they watch what I do, so they've only seen Mike <laughs> on a screen, right? And I'm getting the vibe that my aunt is like a little infatuated with Mike, because because think about it, he's the oldest one in the group. He's yeah. 36. My aunt, you know, maybe 50s, like. Yeah, you can make something happen. Right? She's married, but come on. <laughs> that don't matter. Come on. So, she walks in, beelines towards Mike. She goes, Mike, you fucker. And she's hammered, right? Mike, you fucker. And then, bro. She's like, I'm going to be honest. She's like kind of a heavy set woman. I was thinking about how you were going <laughs> to. I'll just. She's my aunt, yeah. bro. She let's put it this oh, way. Come she's on. like, she's, she's not... like got like an athletic bill. bill. The, uh, the, not, not, so you smash yeah. is what you're saying. We'll, we're getting okay. There. Get, yeah. the, get the search. Well, she she wanted to, so she she climbed over Mike. It took about thirty seconds, but after the thirty seconds, she's she's in full straddle. She's straddling my friend Mike. Can, do we have a pic? Somebody has a picture. David, send it over. Go ahead. I gotta going. see it. We got We got a photo there. So my aunt is straddling Mike. We're all like, "What the fuck is going on?" And she's not getting off. Right? She's definitely like enjoying this. Oh, time she's getting off. So, oh yeah, 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 yeah. So so she goes, Mike, you fucker, like touches his face. She goes, I'm married. <laughs> She's like, ma'am, you're straddling me. <laughs> this is my aunt, dude. We got do we have it on the screen right now? Oh my god. Yeah, yeah. I think we can show it. Yeah, yeah. so so look, it's going down. We're it all like kind of confused. We're like, this is gonna be a yeah, great story. Going it's like going you can tell that's like a at hands. Yeah, well going down. I, I, and, and and just Mike's really, gripping really, her for really, sure. Really quickly, Respectfully like, so. Th- th- think think about me in this situation. Okay. This is my best friend's fucking family member. And where where every part of me wants to continue enjoying my chicken parmigiana mm-hmm. and relaxing and ha- enjoying my night, mm-hmm. I, c- I don't want to make her feel like it's not reciprocated, bro. Because that no no one wants to feel like that. Like, right. if you go out and straddle someone in public, you want them to- they better massage your back, yeah. maybe grip a butt cheek, whatever, mm-hmm. right? I respect that. And especially my best friend's fucking off. Yeah. So he's going to grab I'm, her ass cheek. I didn't do that, but I'm doing the best I can. Maybe the you, back you, of the neck a little bit. You should have. T- you should have. <laughs> we made out. It, it was light. Anyways, after about ten minutes of pure like confusion, yeah, unfortunately, she she get, she gets off Michael, and uh, I hate to put her on blast like this, but we oh, we wow, we, you're really doing. This? I mean, look, it's part of this. Hey, it's impulsive. The number one podcast in the world, bro. Statistically, we looked down at Mike's jeans. No, and he got he got period blood. Something about this big, a stain mm-hmm. on his jeans, liquid. Yep. yep. Red Not, wine. We got we to gotta figure out what it is, right? Like, what was clearly something went wrong somewhere. There's this liquid stain, a large one on my friend's knee that my aunt was just straddling, right? Huddled up. Did she squirt? We don't know. We're still trying to figure it out. We don't actually have it. I keep it erupting. No, no, no. You're doing great. I do that all the time. I know. Most people say I do. I never do, actually. I know. Um, <clears throat> a couple minutes after that. Logan says we need to get to the bottom of this. We ha- come on, well, what is it, dude? You gotta know. Quite, I gotta know right now. She leaked on my friend. She What's leaked. the liquid? Quite literally, and he says to me, "How do I smell your genital region without causing a scene in this restaurant?" And those are the kind of questions we ask each other, Sean. And that's why we get along, Sean. No, no, yeah. That's why when you come around, we fuck with you because yeah. you ask those questions too. Not so that I specifically, said, yeah. specific question, but yeah. like okay, in general, yeah, in that yeah. in that realm. So mm-hmm. I said, "I'm gonna drop something. Pick it up." Yeah. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. He got down, he picked my phone up, and he gave my pants a fucking sniffer. What'd you think? It it wasn't, it did not smell like urine. Okay. That was what I gathered. That's one out of, what, four or five things it could it be? It could be anything. Okay. I put all my money that Mike came in his pants, because that's the that's what I was the most action he's got since. My aunt made you come in your pants? <laughs> a thousand percent. I didn't want to say it there, then and there, but. That's fire. I think it might have, so here were, here were the two that it leaned into immediately. Danny Airmus. First one's female ejaculate. I'm gonna be honest with you. I, but I've I mean, never, I know you so don't know much. about I've it. Never it was seen a lot. Anything like that? But you, that's don't because you're doing that. That's because that. you're doing something incorrect. It, bro, 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 y'all weren't fucking. She's just sitting. It on doesn't you. matter. She it's clearly happen, she like, saw me. Never seen a girl happen. this wet. Nah, she <laughs> saw me. She saw me and Some she girls. knew, bro. Before something before tells me that wasn't the first time she had straddled me in her mind. Oh, do you fucking hear me right now? Shit. So she probably had that shit. She probably watched the night shift. She oh. probably just out here clocking in. She was clocking oh, in last she, night on my fucking lap. She was bro. clocking in, bro. Clocking in. Do you here's, know? here's the other one. The only other option. Pure sweat. Ass sweat, dog. You know when it's a, a 92 degree Cleveland humid evening, you're out boozing with Pam? 
ass sweat, nah, dog. Nah, we 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 sent in a female friend of ours to uh, casually feel the back of my aunt's legs. <laughs> And they were bone dry. Bone dry. So, oh, some, so she came on you. Yeah. That's sweet. That's fine. Slightly jealous. But you know what the worst part of it was? Finally, when it <laughs> cooled down, and we're all like, okay, look, this is all weird. It's all weird. She, like 10 minutes later, she, she goes at the table. She goes, when he's done with dinner, I'm going to ride him again. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, Yo, and I sat that time. I was like, you're fucking not. No, you're not. No, oh, you're not. Yeah. You're done, lady. One, one, and, one and you're done. One and done. Ladies and gentlemen. We interrupt this program to bring you a word from our sponsors. Stop right there. We want to tell you about a great product. Our body needs electrolytes, plain and simple. And when we sweat fast or diet or just live our everyday lives, we lose them, leading to headaches, muscle cramps, and weakness. We need them replaced. But maybe we don't want a sugary sports drink to do the job, so we're here to tell you about Element, the healthy alternative to sugary electrolyte drinks. Each grab-and-go stick pack replaces essential electrolytes with no sugar, no coloring, no artificial ingredients, or any other junk. We all know the popular electrolyte drinks, and they're packed with sugar. This is the version that's actually good for you. It's a great way to support your health and fitness lifestyle, strength training, recovery, or keto diet. In fact, Element is the exclusive hydration partner to Team USA Weightlifting and many Olympic athletes. They have amazing flavors like citrus, watermelon, orange, and raspberry. So get your free Element sample pack. Element is your go-to electrolyte drink. No sugar, no artificial ingredients, no coloring, or any other junk. And as a listener of the Impulsive Podcast, you can get your free Element sample pack. You only have the cover, the cost of shipping. Get yours at drinkelement.com slash Logan. Back to the program. But he said when things cooled off, and the word cool, when he says the word cool, one thing comes to mind. Sugar Sean. Cool? Cool. Thanks, man. Anytime you come to town, we're pumped up. George is pumped up. My we know like we know we like know what's good. But Sean, I appreciate that. The girls get pumped up too. Olivia O'Brien, Father Kells. Stop. Nah, that. nah. Oh. When they found out you were coming on this podcast, they literally wanted to fly to Cleveland. Who knows what would have ended up on your pants, bro? Stop. <laughs> don't, pimp, don't tease me, champ. Where they at? <laughs> are they going to pop out somewhere? Maybe. They maybe. Might. Who knows? You're, Why are you so cool? You're our favorite person, dude. Yeah. Oh, thanks, guys. Yeah. Appreciate you remember that. when we first met? It was at that, uh, I went up the elevator. Yeah, yeah. I got off the elevator. Slapped hands. I remember that. We got it on video. Evidently, I evidently. I do you remember the way you just described the dap, it was like a movie <laughs> moment. Well, dude, I didn't know we were doing anything that night. Like, we were, where was that? Uh, fucking Atlanta. Uh, Atlanta for, for so Jake's I didn't know last we, fight, yeah? It was yeah. it was Friday, yeah. Friday night. Yep. And a, we didn't know anything was going on. We hit you guys up. You said, oh, no, we have a little, there's a private little trailer party. Trailer party. Dude, that night was fun. Crazy. But every night of that trip was fun. We ended up at Magic City. We ended up all oh, these places. Oh, Magic City. And I remember I remember the wow. big question from you was like, or or, or um, all you guys, was like, we didn't know like what y'all were going to be like in real mm. life. That's always the question, right? Yeah. What, did, what was your take? I mean, I don't know, dude. You guys are cool. Fire. You guys are cool fucking we dudes. We have a good video thread message going on. We do. I think uh, I try not to do any 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 expectations. Mm -hmm. Just I, you know, obviously have listened to the podcast, have watched, you know, all the all the different vlogs. So I, I got an idea of, of, and then I met you guys, and it was just fucking. It, I don't even know. It just seemed normal, like normal fucking people. Yeah, you know what I mean. It's hard to explain. Just felt like meeting. See, dude, actually, okay, I play Xbox with these guys. I fucking stream all every day. I played um, and I recently just flew a couple people down last like over the weekend and I've been talking to them for like two three years and um, you meet them and they're just your boys yeah, yeah that's yeah. how it felt I felt like instantly we were just boys I don't know we just kind of vibing on the same like level I it, don't know it was it, fucking normal it was definitely an instant bond yeah you know, I, f I, I think I think you know you're one of us bro you're, you're, thank you you're a bit of a you're a bit of a hooligan but you got you got your shit straight and uh and obviously you're you're killing it at what you do dude thank you brother can I ask a semi like <laughs> Deep question, bro. Uh, yeah, and, let me sit up. Deep and, question. And I don't want to be the guy. Oh shit. oh, shit. But 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 it is on my mind. And I wanted to do it on impulsive. All right. Are you concerned that your partying yes. affects your fight game? <laughs> Dude, uh, it's been a long two months since my last fight. I think I've partied six weekends out of the out of the eight since my last fight. Um, and I've never really partied like this. Until probably I'm 26. Yep. I moved. I was I'm from Montana. You don't part. I mean, I didn't. I just started. I had never drank till I was 21. Um, 
So I haven't started po- like this is pretty new to me, being out like going to the clubs and shit. Really? Yeah. Like, I mean, last You're very year very good at it. I- I'm gotten better, and it's not <laughs> like it's a bad getting better. Like I actually get worse at this. Um, but yeah, dude, honestly, yeah, I got to sit down and be like, oh shit, these last eight weeks. Don't get me wrong, I'm training like th- in during the week. But if you go party Friday night, Saturday night, you don't recover. You're not you're not 100 percent Monday. 100. You're not 100. Like oh, I go train 100 percent Monday. I get injured. Like I got to be smart with okay. Yep. I party Friday, Saturday, recover Sunday. Monday's a light day. Tuesday I can pick it up a little bit. Wednesday, you know, I've been we've been training hard still throughout the weeks. But yeah, dude, it, I mean this lifestyle you can 100 percent get lost in. Um, I'm fighting December 11th. No opponent yet. Um, you just know you're fighting. Yeah, I'm going to fight December 11th in Las Vegas. And uh, I don't know how many weeks that is, 15, 14, 15, 16. Gotcha. But, dude, when there's nobody in the UFC that as dialed in as me in fight camp. For eight weeks, no one trains how I train. Really? I, I truly, truly believe that when it comes down to recovery, sleep, nutrition, the, the obviously the training. But, dude, the training's not shit without sleep. Like, sleep is the number one thing. In fight, uh, in uh, in general, yeah, not just in fight camp, dude. Like, and and partying fucks my sleep up the worst. But in fight camp, eight weeks, no one, no one does it like me. Re- from a from a recovery standpoint, nutrition, training, yeah, um, I'm just so fucking dialed in. Eight weeks out that I'm uh, <clears throat> but outside of camps where you do improve your skills, eight weeks is when you get in the best shape possible. I'm not trying to learn a bunch of new shit in eight mm-hmm. weeks. Mm-hmm. I'm trying to get in 15 minute shape to be able to do what I did last fight. Yep. The amount of punches I threw in that fight is fucking insane. What, you was, go, the, what was the record you broke? <coughs> was, was it? Like, most landed, wasn't it? No, I think it's like most significant strikes. Most significant, oh, yeah, I think yeah. it was uh, close to Nate Diaz. I think Nate Diaz might have thrown a little more. I know oh, I, I did break know. some kind of record, but um, to be able to throw that many punches and land on that kid's face that many times, you have to be in insane fucking shape. And I was in insane shape. And uh, in those fight camps, eight weeks, that's what you do is get in insane shape. So outside of fight camp, you improve your skills. Yep. And, uh, but yeah, dude, if I fucking keep getting opportunities to go places, it's every weekend. It's, yeah. And it's hard to say no sometimes. Like, hey, you want to go fucking hang out with 6 9 and shoot guns? <laughs> <laughs> That's where I was going next. Because you've been, shoot guns, but you I had been, to do that. <laughs> you've been spending time with 6 9 and, and Mr. Steve will do it. Yeah. Um, partying with them in, in, in Miami and Mur- murder, 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 murder. It's hard to like opportunities like that. Steve hits me up. Hey, you want to fucking come out to Miami and hang with six and, and me? And ha- I'm like, yeah, I do. And, and he, go. Did, did he get you that bust down? <laughs> Dude, he gave me both. S- Steve will do it. Got you that? Yeah, Dude, both. he got me like a hundred thousand. Oh, damn. Are we, sh- are we, would you, did you, when that happened, did you look back at like us and be like, yo, those are some shit friends? I did. I thought that specifically you. I'm like you haven't got me shit. <laughs> Welcome. It's Fuck. actually probably like, better if he doesn't give no. you anything. I would do it. It was not me. <laughs> some shit. I do that. Chocolate bar looked fire. Oh, there we the, go. The chocolate bar was good. I came back. Love what the to, f- to, love yeah. to Question for you. Who goes harder? Me. Nope. Not the, not the question I'm asking. Okay. Steve will do it or or our camp. But you, no no no. Hold on a sec. I, I mean, I really mean Bro, that. the kid casually tr- he, he chugs do entire bottles no of vodka. He don't do that but, shit no more. But I, mean, I feel like Steve is more like, it could be Monday, it could be Tuesday, it could be Wednesday. Mm. And he goes hard. There was one time where I said, dude, are we changing it to half send? <laughs> it's two, bud. And he was sitting on the couch. And I wasn't. I said, are, we, are you doing half send dropped or, or are we doing full send, bud? <laughs> Oh, so okay. there was a, there was a time, okay. but then I found out he said he lost like twenty thousand cash. He found it, but he was I was like, what do you what do you do with it on the couch? Um, but I don't know. We fucking have went pretty hard. We've had some late that nights. fight, after Jake's last fight at that Airbnb or that fucking Target, whatever you want to call it. That place was huge. <laughs> you confused the two. Atlanta. Wait, what did I just say? Oh, oh, the house in Atlanta. Yeah, yeah the one that looked like a fucking super Target. Oh my god, <laughs> that one. What did I say? You said an Airbnb it? or a Target. I got, oh, no, well, I, meant like, you guys. I meant it was that the fucking size big. Of it. It was, oh, it was, gotcha. it was big. We were, at, we were at Magic City it, both uh, both, not, both nights. You know I don't remember. You, you know what you told me uh, no. on that trip? <laughs> Probably not. Let me tell you what you told me on that trip. <laughs> I was like, yo, so like, what, like, what's, like, fighting, you know? Like, how'd you get into it? Because you do have this, like, oh, yeah. like, bro, I don't know if anyone <laughs> looks at you and they're like, that guy kicks ass. No, they don't. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? They say that guy raps and he probably sucks. I'm like, mm. <laughs> That's accurate. And, and and you said you told me that you got into fighting, quote unquote, to pick up chicks. Dude, hundred percent. That's dude. Sixteen years old. 
I'm just a skinny little dude. No one thinks I'm tough. No one thinks I'm cool. I was funny. Funny gets chicks. I didn't really know, think that back then. So I was like, I'm going to fight. Didn't work. Didn't get much more chicks, though. But I got good at fighting. But but that's not just something, like, anyone can get good at. And, and, and that's what we're kind of discovering with this boxing thing and, like, watching, you know, everyone under the sun try to, like, replicate and be a, have their celebrity box mm-hmm. match. And, like, you, you may or may not get, like, my, my, my bro happened to get good. I, I, I'm comfortable with saying, like, I got pretty good. Yeah, you but you, you got, like, w- like world class. Um, had you had any athletic ability prior or, or, or maybe an inkling of, like, yo, I'm, I'm a little aggressive and I like, I like, I like combat? Or how did you know or have the ability to actually be good at the thing? I, growing up, I was an athlete. Soccer, basketball, okay. football, baseball. Those four all year round. Like, if it was snowing, we're playing basketball inside. You know mm-hmm. what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. all, since I was, like, three or four years old, consistently playing sports until I was 16. And then you got to get good grades to play sports. I'm like, what the fuck? Like, so I can't play sports? <laughs> so I'm like, what do I, What can I do? I can, oh, I can go kickbox. I can go to the kickboxing gym. They don't give a fuck. They did. They had good, good grades. But they don't actually <laughs> care. Um, so I was 16 years old, and I started kickboxing. I started boxing, kickboxing, and I just was naturally... I was not hitting mitts, and the coaches were like, oh, shit, like, this kid's pretty good. And then we'd spar, and I'd do really good sparring, and I just, I don't even know. It was never about hurting someone, or it was, like, never really aggressive. Like, it was always a sport to me, like a, th- like a thinking, athletic thinking game. It was just, it was just a sport, and it, I got good at it, and I was got, just kind of got obsessed about it. Um, I just never stopped going since I was 16, kickboxing. 16, 17, 18 is when I started MMA. Then I was like, oh shit, I gotta fucking learn how to wrestle and, and do jujitsu. That wasn't my fa- I like I like kickboxing, but I was like you can't make a living out of kickboxing for the most part. Like I didn't fucking watch Glory or whatever. Yeah. It's like, okay, so the UFC could be an option. Learn jujitsu a little bit. And then I moved down. Tim Tim asked me, he's like, hey, you want to move down to uh Phoenix and train at a legitimate gym, the MMA lab. I moved down. And it was so bad. Because in Montana, I was a fucking man. I could beat up anybody. Yeah. Anybody at the gym, I'd beat them up. I go down to Arizona, I'm the worst, dude. Like, I still have good kick, kickboxing, but wasn't as good as I thought. And anybody, if wanted to take me down and beat my ass, they could. So I, 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 so I just ended up moving to Phoenix and realized that's where I needed to be. And I remember crying after, you know, I was 19 years old, left home. Never, you know, I lived with my parents, left home. 19 years old, there was multiple practices I leave crying, just getting my ass kicked. I'm like, that fucking sucks. Like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. But I always knew I was a good athlete that I could learn techniques and not get my ass kicked. So I was constantly trying to, like, not be the bottom. Slowly I'd work my way up. And now I'm at a point to where I'm, I'm not the best guy in the gym because if I was the best guy, I would need to leave the gym. There's It's competitive. You know, I would train with a bunch of UFC fighters. Um... So it's competitive at a great gym with at Tim's gym, the MMA lab, uh, Tanquino's gym. Like, um, but yeah, it was. I've been training for ten years, eleven years. It's been a long fucking time. But even just getting hit in the face, man. Like, I you, don't you, get hit. Boom. That's the thing. There goes that. Hypothesis. No, but what are we gonna say? <laughs> but, sorry, what were you we gonna say? Don't even know. No, but getting hit sucks, dude. <laughs> I try not to. Like, I really don't want to get hit. Getting hit concussions. Yeah. Have you have you dealt with some serious concussions? In football, yeah. Dude, I've had, before my contender series fight, I got hit in the jaw. I don't remember if I got knee to punch, whatever. I got hit in the jaw, bad concussions. Waking up in the middle of the night, 14 days out from my fight, contender series, biggest fight of my life. Um, waking up in the middle of the night, puking, just not doing good, not, not, did not have a good training camp. And, uh, yeah, concussions are so fucking scary, especially now that I have a baby. I'm like, oh my God, I gotta, yeah, you be, got I gotta a baby. be here. You're a dad. I got a dad. I mean, I got a, I do have a dad too. <laughs> you know what? I, I Georgie, you do. Georgie, I do have so a dad. So about those concussions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a dad. I got a mom. We interrupt this program to bring you another word from our incredible sponsor. This episode is sponsored by Blue Chew. Say it with us. Blue, Blue Chew. Chew. Blue Chew is making waves and bringing more confidence to the bedroom by offering chewable tablets that can help men get stronger and longer lasting erections. Blue Chew is a unique online service that delivers the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis, but in chewable form, and it's at a fraction of the cost. Blue Chew's tablets help men achieve harder, stronger erections to combat all forms of ED. Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so no visits to the doctor, doctor's office. 
No awkward conversations and no waiting in line at the pharmacy, and it ships right to your door in discreet packaging. The process is simple. Sign up at BlueChew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. The best part? It's all done online. So if you can benefit from some extra confidence when it's time to perform, visit BlueChew.com. That's B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com for more details and important safety information. Here's a special deal for our listeners. Try BlueChew free when you use our promo code LOGAN at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's B-L-U-E-C-H-E-W.com. Promo code LOGAN to receive your first month free. And we thank BlueChew for sponsoring this podcast. Back to the show. No, I am a dad so now. So you're, ba- you're balancing a lot because you got to... Uh, you gotta, I got a princess. Still with the baby mama, too, And I'm yeah? still with Danny. Dude, yeah. Danny. Uh, talk, talk about that for yeah, a second. We've talk been, about that, that relationship. We've been together since I was 20, 20, 21. The first conversation we ever had before we even, like, started kind of liking. She she didn't like me right away. I liked her right away. But the first conversation we had was, like, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't see how someone can be with one girl the rest of their life. Like, I just can't, I don't see it. And I was talk, telling her, explaining this to her before we kind of were dating. So, dude, she knew what she was getting into before she got into it. Um, I've always been so curious about that's that. That's why I asked it's you. A, it's, a, it's an open relationship. We're in an open relationship, and I don't even want to call it that. I don't want to call it any label. Like, we choose. Yeah. I choose to. I sleep with her every night in the same bed with, with Elena. Like, I choose to do that because I want to. You know, I don't I don't like the the... I don't like the how relationships are nowadays. It's like, I own you. You own them. I hate that. I just can't stand that. I don't want to be in that kind of relationship. I want to be free. I'm in Cleveland. Danny knows I'm in Cleveland. If a bad little mamacita want to hang out. Or my aunt. I'm <laughs> hanging out. If she wants to straddle me, straddle me. But it's, I mean, it's, it's. you know, I love Danny. She's a fucking, we've been together pretty much my entire career. She knew me before I made money. She knew me before. I was like 3-0 and as a pro, so you don't make money as a pro. Mm. You hardly fucking make money in the UFC. As, I mean, a, a ton of money, but she's known know me before I made money before I was whatever and uh we had a really cool relationship um she's awesome she does my hair she's the fucking best yeah, dude yeah. like if I lost her I would be f- screwed like and I don't that's even, like, awesome you, you find yourself a rock and it's a hundred percent I'm very envious a, a yeah. rock that by the way doesn't hold you down I know what's well, awesome yeah and I mean it's not easy for her either, like, because I'm, I'm on this podcast talking about it, and then people look at her like, oh, she's stupid, like, what are you doing? Stuff like, like, that's how she gets perceived sometimes, like, oh, she he's using you or whatever. But, dude, if you asked her, like, does Sean treat you good? Does Sean, do you guys have great sex? Do you guys cuddle at night? Do you guys, does he make you coffee every morning? Does he provide, every, like, I'm a good, I'm a good partner in the relationship. If... And if I hang out with a girl at a club, if I'm dancing with a girl, like I get comments and shit all the time. Like, dude, what are you doing? You have a girl and a baby at home. I'm like, yeah, I know. They're back home. I know that. I'm not fucking stupid. I'm going to, I'm enjoying myself doing whatever. I'm going to, you know, be safe. I'm going to go back home to, to my family. And it's just, re- it's a weird relationship, especially nowadays. I mean, I actually think it's becoming more normalized it is, it a little is, bit. Yeah. Um, Has it ever led to any like, Pretty pretty nasty. Blow oh, is it 100%. a hundred percent roller coaster? Yeah, like, yeah, but I do it every single time. You like we have that down. The ups always better, and it comes down to communication in any kind of relationship, uh, boss to employer relationship, coach, um, trainer relationship. We gotta have communication in every single relationship. And going through a relationship like that, you have to communicate, or it's not gonna fucking work. And I mean, we've had we've had our issues, obviously. Do do you have to? Because uh, we've had other guests on the show before that that have similar relationships, and they spoke about this system of uh, having to check in. Do you have to check in or have approvals on gr- on girls that you hook up with, or or is what what is taboo? If she ever found out that you were texting something like, "Yo, I have feelings for you," that's Ooh. that's done, right? Feelings like, are tough, okay. and that's happened. Yeah, like four years ago. In Vegas, and it happened. I had feelings for a girl. I fucked up. I crossed the line. It was my fault. But what was the what was that line? I guess is the feelings. Yeah. Okay. Like the 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 after I after I got on the plane and left. Hey. Uh, like oh, like shit. it was my fault. I fucked up. A hundred percent. We grew from that. She moved out. Actually, at one point, she moved out, and you know we kept we kept talking, and we we she moved back in, and we made it work. And um, but I want to be free. I want her to be free. If she has a desire to do something that she wants to do. I don't want her to not do it because of, oh, it'll make me feel a certain way. I have my own emotions and I have to be in control of them. And so does she. If I go and hook up with a chick and it makes her feel a certain way, 
I mean, she's got to be in control of the emotions, and we got to we got to communicate. And I think we're doing a really good job with that. And uh, I you know I wish she was here so she could talk mm-hmm. to you because I don't want to put words in her mouth. But I mean, it's not easy for her sometimes. But it's fucking. I told her I have to be me. I have to be me. I can't pretend to be someone else. I can't. I gotta be me. Communication is key, bro. Communication is key. That, that sentence alone is like it is it has so much weight. Yeah. And if uh, she doesn't respect it, obviously I'm I'm not positive you'd be where you are in this relationship with her. Hundred percent. So you, you you mentioned she does your hair, yeah. and, and, <laughs> and I wanted to ask because like obviously not being tied down and having that freedom is important to you. And like every time I've hung out with you, bro, like all of us think it. Like, bro, you're also you're a fight. You're you're a rock star. Comedian. You're a fighter disguised as a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's what you are. But and, also and the opposite as well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, bro, you got you got face tats, dude. <sighs> yeah. So when did when did you, when were you like, okay, I'm I'm like a fucking I'm a rock star. Yeah. And, and, and you, you got committed to face tats. The first <laughs> tattoo I got was a fake uh first face tattoo I got was a fake one. I'm stupid enough to get a face tattoo, but I'm smart enough to get a fake one first. See, See if I like, like it. it. Yeah. It was a star. It was my second fight in the UFC. I'm fighting on a pay-per-view. I'm a fucking star. I, we were walking down the strip a um, couple days before the fight. I'm like, I wanted to go get it real right there. I think um, Tim or Danny or someone like, get a fake one, dude. I, I was like, all right, fine. So I got a fake one first. Um, it was right before my pay-per-view fight. I felt like a fucking star. I'm 21, 22 years old, fighting on a, in the UFC on a huge card. And I was like, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I'm a, there's no going back. What else am I going to do? Fucking... Get a face yeah. tag. Well, I, gotta get a I face guess tag. the other option would be not. In yeah, life. in life. What the I'm fuck like, else am I going to do? Uh, dude? Yeah, I don't know. You're going to mow lawns? Right, right. What are you going to do? You're going to work it? Shout out to all the Costco? landscapers. Yeah, yeah those are sick. <laughs> no, but I'm just, no if, if he was bagging my groceries, I'd be confused. <laughs> yeah, I was like, <laughs> fuck. I would be. Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else I'd do. Honestly, before I moved down, I was I worked at a group home with like eight mentally disabled people people aged from like 18 to 70 and i that was like a passion i truly enjoyed oh, that bro, you're so sweetheart, that's bro. So, that's something i'd actually do yeah. if i had to do something but dude I, this face tattoos i'm like i got this one i got from a snapchat filter i was like uh-huh. damn that's fire you're using snapchat all of a sudden you look in the mirror you had a tattoo well i was like it was like it's a dreamer i'm like oh it's kind of sick and then i was in miami and i had to get it you know <laughs> nice i'm pretty <laughs> impulsive Nice, nice, <laughs> nice, nice. You like that one, Georgie? Bro, I think I think you're uh, I think you're next up, dude. I think you're Definitely. what I think you're oh, what the needs. Well, no, no. I mean, I mean, let's be honest, bro. You still you still have an ascent to to, yeah. to yeah, do. Yeah. You know, you're still climbing the ladder. And and I think most people that look at you because you have crazy fans, bro, including us, yeah. Including yeah. probably most yeah. people in this room, bro. Yeah. We love watching your fight. Absolutely. And, and as a as a fan of the UFC. I think you're exactly what the UFC needs, bro. That spark of personality and also amazing, amazing skill in the art of combat. Thank you, brother. Is Dana giving you the attention that you want, the fights you want? I know you mentioned fight or pay. We can have that conversation, like, whenever. But, like, it, do, do you feel happy with where you are and where you're going to be? Oh, yeah. Dude, I think I'm seven fights deep in the UFC. People were crazy, like, want me to fight a ranked guy. And I've said it before. And I'll say to you, I don't give a, I don't care, dude. Give me the worst dude in the world. Put me on, like Chael says, fight the worst dude on the highest spot on the card, make the most money. You're doing it right. Yeah. For me, I don't really care. I don't care. If you're going to pay me the same, I'll fight someone not as good. Don't care. You want me to fight someone good? Don't care. It's a, it's a great point. It's a it's, great point. It's, it, there's, so there's no extra incentive to try to level up? Um, Dude, I've, I feel like I could. I feel like I could take. I think our Peter's not the champ. I think Peter Yan's the champ. That's what, in my division. That's kind of who I feel is the champion. Yeah. They're gonna have a rematch. We'll see who's gonna be the champion of that. But dude, I think I beat Peter. I think I beat TJ. I think I beat Corey. I think I beat all these guys. My skill set is there. I'm I'm there. I'm 26 too. I'm getting better. Yeah. Not not in the last couple months though, George. <laughs> but I'm dude. I'm on a fucking rocket ship. Um. I'm going to fight, like I said, I'm going to fight in December. I don't know. They offered me Frankie Edgar, which would have been a fucking sweet fight. Ooh. In New York, on a day that Tim has a huge grappling tournament. And he had a tournament before I had a fight. That's his date. I don't give a, I didn't want to fight in New York anyway. But, uh, so I could have fought, Fra- I could have just fought, I could be fighting Frankie Edgar. Yeah. But I'm not. So, so I'll, I wanted to fight Dominic Cruz. Will it give me Dominic? I don't know. Cody's running down, he ran down to 25. Pedro Munoz all of a sudden is going down to 25. I don't know if they're going to 25 because of me. 
but I like to think so. Um, but yeah, dude, I'm going to be fighting till I'm probably 35, 36 years old. Everything goes well. Once you fight the top dogs, you don't stop fighting the top dogs. So that, is that me? It's not me. Yeah, I think it is. It's bro. not. I my phone hasn't made. My phone has world of women. Yeah, yeah. My phone hasn't made a sound in years. And we're unpredictable. Yeah. I think that's everybody's favorite thing. You know, unorthodox no, you, too. Yeah, unorthodox. And believe it or not, I know how to grapple. People th- think I don't. I su- I don't know if you know talking to Gomi is choked him, <laughs> choked him. I gr- uh, grappled with Gilbert uh, Melendez, in, for eight minutes. Way bigger than me. Black belt. A, a great black belt. Went to a draw. I know. I'm, I know how to grapple too. It's one of those things where we haven't seen I much haven't of it because it. it you just you keep it Not standing, standing, you know. And yeah. I, I I know a lot of people want to see me fight a wrestler. They want to see how I deal with a wrestler. Um, you know, it's gonna happen. Like I said, I got ten more years in the sport. It's, I'm gonna fight a wrestler. It's gonna happen. Can I? I'm gonna be transparent for a second. I, I hate to admit this, but whenever I go out with you. I don't want this to happen, but like the tiniest, like knocked out, like, little part, little part of me always hopes that like somebody's like, yeah, get that little blue haired pussy over there. <laughs> some like a little bit, some a group bit. of like frat kids, oh, and yeah. I, I like I don't want that to happen because no, 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 I know no, where it ends that. up. But like, dude, just the idea. Do you someone, ever have that happen? You ever have someone think that you're not who you are? And I don't. Not that I'm not. No, not re- not yet. I'm such a happy drunk. Like yeah, you yeah. see me when yeah, I'm yeah, yeah, I just yeah. don't even think I could. Have, I don't know. There's it could flip, but for the most part, uh, oh wait, actually I was in L.A. Remember I saw you in L.A. I was at that club yeah. after when I was leaving. At, at Hyde. Uh, yeah, you were with me with Connor. With Connor McGregor. Oh yeah, we were like from me to like Tim. What? And Connor was just sitting up there, and I was drunk, and I looked at him, and I held. I don't think I had like tequila or vodka bottle. I held it up, and he went. <laughs> oh, that was our. That was our. That is thing. the best. That's such a that is the to best do. because that that was every reaction he had to anyone that night was just that. Like yeah. he really does not. He can't move. He's right. This fucking thing. Right. But I wanted to pick up there, so I haven't got a pick with him. I've been close to him a couple times. Um, Connor's a fucking man, dude. I've learned so much from watching his career of what to do and what not to do, and uh, he's the fucking man. I, want, I was so close, didn't get a pick. Um, that was a weird night. Oh yeah, but that night where I was going with that story. This fucking kid outside, we were waiting for the a, dry, uh, a lift or some shit. This kid kept asking me. He's like, will you knock me out? I'm like, no, dude. Ah. He's like, will you sign this? So I signed it. And he kept following me, like, around. And he, and I, that was the first time I got, like, a little flustered. But I didn't ever feel the urge to fucking drop his ass. Yeah. You, you didn't say, yo, like, I did. I, well, finally, like, a couple of security, like, what are you doing? And he kept just, like, five minutes. Uh. Uh, but I did feel a little... Uh, I like that I, drunk anger, but I didn't get to a point where I was like, I'm about to drop this dude. Mm. I think. Oh, you uh, made a guy shit himself? Yeah, this this was, how old, what, what, year, what was that? I was 19, 20 years old, and this jack dude, Tim and I were living together in apartments, and this jack dude kind of ran, it was a shitty apartment. It was close to the gym. It's where we needed to be. I was fucking broke. I was living off $300 a month, and uh, it was close to the gym, shitty apartment, and this jack dude, Tony, would walk around, with his like six cats, and he was a jacked, short, bald, um, and he's like, "You guys are fighters?" And uh, <laughs> God, I wish. T- um, yeah. Anyway, we ended up t- telling him, "Yeah, we fight." He's like, "I want to want to spar with me." Like, yeah. I, he's like, "I'm serious." So we brought him to the UFC gym where Tim was working in the boxing ring, and dude, I hit him with a body shot, and he sh- we had it on <laughs> video. We probably still do. He literally shit out of his shorts like onto the mat. He literally shit. Holy shit. I literally. stepped in it because I didn't see him shit. I hit him with a body shot. Boom. He shits. We're fucking around. I'm, I step in it. Oh. And my dog, I had my little dog, Petrie, was there. He's like, oh, your dog shit in the ring. And he ran to the bathroom. So I thought my fucking dog shit in the ring. And then we watched the video back later. He literally, I hit him, with, I kicked him with a body shot and he shit himself. <laughs> wow. And he never acted hard. <laughs> we never, I don't think we have, we ever like told him. There's he never acted hard, it's hard again. To come back it's from. there's no coming back yeah. from from a, sh- a pants. Well, shit. who was the most infamous shit of UFC? Who was that again? The, the girl? Oh, I don't remember, but I do remember. There's been some. There's been some pretty shitty stories. <laughs> yeah, nice. That was nice. good. That was good. Shit. Nice. That would suck, dude. I've thought I about that happening. You, what, what happened when you found out that it was his shit? Like, I'd be pretty <laughs> fucking pissed that I. I, I felt more embarrassed dog. for him, dude. I felt embarrassed. I'm like. God damn it. If you're sucks. if you're stepping in human feces, like something's wrong. 
Yeah. What if you stepped in it, slipped, and then he mounted you, and he's like, "Got you right." He could have helped me, that's but a, that would suck. That's a that's an everyday occurrence in New York City. Get knocked out. Just step in human it. shit all the time, man. I'm, a, I'm, I'm not. I'm not used to it. Yeah, we don't roll like that so much in Ohio. You Most ever make someone laugh throughout them shit themselves? Oh, dude, that's a thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I sure. try to aim for it. That's the goal. <laughs> I aim for it. That's I've made two or three people pee in their actual. Oh God, isn't that great? I bet there were girls. Always warn you. I'm gonna pee. I'm gonna pee. Oh yeah, that's great. You know, you kind of are like. In a way, because you're straddling the line between athleticism and just superstar. I, when we when we walk, that's the craziest analogy I ever used. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, you're like uh, fucking sexualized aunt. Yeah. Um, but uh, when we walk in places, it's like it's like y- people are screaming, "Sugar, sugar, sugar show, dude!" And, and, and then you 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 and 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 Timmy got a show, right? Yeah, you got a podcast, a great podcast. The Timbo Sugar Show, the number two podcast in the world. I'm saying, so now, might, might be one, who knows? No, it's two. How, how do you straddle that line, <laughs> you know what I'm saying, without, without releasing a proverbial puddle that is failing one of the projects? You understand Ooh, what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. No, yeah, balance. Balance. Uh, you always say it's like a fine line walking between... Uh, what did you say? Like reality and entertainment? Yeah, or, yeah. Or, uh, it's a tightrope. It's a tight dude. Yeah. I it, it is. Luckily for me, Dana's a pretty cool boss. I can get away with a lot of shit. I can say a lot of shit. I've definitely said some shit I probably shouldn't have. Didn't really get too much backlash. Obviously, got to you know worry about sponsors for the most part. The people sponsoring me know I'm probably gonna say something stupid. <laughs> but uh, balancing it, yeah. I try not to say, or I try to just be myself, and whatever fucking happens, happens. But uh. You got the same. You got the same sponsors as me, man. Like same kind. You, I can't. I can't name them on the show because it's a whole thing. But yeah, it, it, what I'm getting at here is that you're on unpo- unapologetically you. I yeah. mean, I've had this conversation with some nights where I've taken an Instagram story <laughs> oh. and, and posted it. Yeah. We won't get into it, but I posted I it and been like, canceled. "Yo, you, you said some shit in that Instagram story," and you go, "I don't give a fuck." <laughs> he yeah. does not care. Like, yo, can Sugar Sean ever be canceled? I don't know if that story got out. It might have been canceled. There's just some things that people say and just say some shit. You know what I mean? We should probably not even say it. But yeah, no. yeah I, I try not to. I can be apologetic if I if I fuck up. Mm-hmm. I truly think mm-hmm. like, oh shit, I fuck. I'll apologize. Obviously, I want to be called out on shit that I do do wrong. But for the most part, people are just sensitive pussies, and they just they feel uncomfortable if I say something, and that's their issue. Yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, of course. But. Do you, find, do you feel like it's always or usually people that are offended in honor of other people? You know what I'm saying? It's not even the... It's not yeah, that's the, a good point. Probably is. The world's kind of just like a bunch of pussies. I don't know. Mm-hmm. I, I'm just going to... Like, you're 13 and 0. Yeah, technically. Oh, uh, no, 14, 14, 14. I got 14 and 0. You're 14 and 0. <laughs> yeah. Because you sent, you sent me that. You sent me that it's jersey. Fire, huh? I love it, dude. dude it's I, fire. I brought it on this trip. Did you? I, I, I got a ketchup stain on it, dude. No, it's I, okay. I, I love that that jersey. Do you feel like a little quicker at it? Hundred percent, hundred percent. A little quicker. I do too. Every time I throw it on. Yeah, my arms haven't. I, I I can't remember the last time I put on a tank top. So thanks for sending me one of those. Yeah, that congrats. Mm-hmm. It sounds like a great jersey. But but look but look but look, bro. <laughs> like I'm just bro. I'm your boy. Okay, so I'm like as your boy. I'm just gonna a- like ask. Like you de- you're definitely fourteen and zero. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Ask. Or was that the question? That was the question. I'm a fourteen year Yeah. Isn't that like a fact? <laughs> Is that like Google? That's what Google says? What are you getting at here? Oh. I'm confused. Yeah, there's like a thing. Am I missing something? Like a thing, Did right? you lose your... Oh. Is that my missing something? Is this the other opponent? Didn't the other guy like come on here? I thought you like broke your foot one fight. I mean, bro, come on. I know you broke your... You broke something. Oh, that whole thing. There's oh, a thing. That, that whole thing. Oh, like, oh, no, no, no. I, that's what I was saying. I don't even know what I'm talking about. No, no. I'll trip I fought, I'll, trip uh, I'll trip We can talk about it. Um, I fought... It, August 15th last year, I fought Cheeto Vera. Um, he, he kicked me right here. There's a nerve, a perennial nerve, that will shut your foot off. Uh, I don't know if you guys seen. It's happened a couple times. It doesn't happen, happen often. Um, he kicked it with his big toe. Dude, oh, damn. It wasn't a good leg kick. It wasn't like a nice hard leg kick where his shin slammed. His I watched it in slow motion. His toe, his big-ass Ecuadorian toe, yeah. hit my perennial nerve right here. It shut my foot off. My foot was completely numb. I was still piecing his ass up. Like, I was out striking him with one foot. I blitzed him. Shouldn't have done that. My foot wasn't working. Blitzed him. Hit him with, like, a three-piece combo. Went to step back on my foot. But my foot didn't work. I fell down. 
fight's over. Damn. And uh, I don't know. Um, I yeah, I didn't know that was a win, but it wasn't a loss. I n- I never felt like I got so much shit. I'm like I mentally, I'm undefeated. I didn't fucking lose because my yeah. skills aren't better than this dude. My fucking he. If it was a good leg kick, a good calf kick, a calf kick's different. He was saying, "Oh, I calf kicked him. It was, it was all me. It wasn't. It was all your. Big it was a toe. toe. It was a toe. It was a big toe. So what was the rule? It was a TKO, or what? Or, or what? Call it what you want. Yeah, but it's I not. Mean, like, right, it's, the yeah, Sugar State know. Athletic Commission called it a, a, a no contest. Yeah. I went. I talked to him. We had a trial. We had a fucking whole thing, and they said, "You know what? We looked at the footage. It was. It was a fluke." Dude, that's what they said. Oh, it was a certified. It was ended up being certified fluke. Certified yeah, fluke. Certified, fourteen zero. Certified. I wouldn't it. sell merch and make a shit ton of money with fourteen zero on it. That's if not I, if it wasn't would true. Know that. Know you know that. what I mean? I'm a. I'm not like that. Hundred percent. Where's the Where's the line drawn though? Because, like, what about what happened to Connor? <sighs> yeah, that's tough. You know what I'm saying? Because his perennial leg exploded. His was his. He fractured some shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good question. I'd have to, I mean. But he would say, that, I feel like he says the same shit. He's like, I didn't fucking lose the fight. Yeah, that, I, I that don't know horrible, exactly horrible. what happened in that know. fight. I was in the shower. Oh, did you end up showering that night? I was showering because I was going to party. Oh, you were that night? That's because it's probably yeah, like it was Saturday that night. or something yeah. like that. No, I fought. Oh yeah, that's right. What the fuck am I saying? I'm so stupid. I was in the shower. I didn't really even watch the whole fight. I didn't really exactly see what happened. Um... But that that sucks, dude. Ending a fight on an injury like that, or or in my, it sucks. Um, if I want to fight like that, dude, if my to- if I kick someone's nerve with my toe, and they went down, I wouldn't be excited. I wouldn't feel a. Con- I wouldn't feel like I just dominated another man. I wouldn't feel like I just punched someone in the head f- two hundred times or or knock someone out cold. You, I wouldn't feel good about it. I'd be like, damn, that sucks. Some people, you know. Do you want to run it back? Um, I think you know, he's fighting Frankie Edgar. He got that Frankie uh, fight because I turned it down. Uh, um, I feel like truly, I'm going to watch it. I feel like it's going to be a boring fight. Mm. Frankie Edgar's fights are tend to be very boring. Um, Cheeto's fights, I mean, not not be not because I don't like him. They're they're not exciting fights. They're boring. I think that's going to be a very boring fight. Um, and I've said if Cheeto can climb the rankings, he can earn another shot with me. And I tr- and I feel that's how I feel. And it sounds <laughs> so go, silly, baby. but that's how I feel. <laughs> Let's go. When you fight me, look what I did to Chris. He had 1,000 followers. He's 180 or something now. That's what happens when you fought, fight me. You get a, a lot of attention. You get a lot of, you can get sponsors. You get, you know, a, a lot of views. So hey, you got to earn that. You a show. You, um, you the sugar it's a, show. It's a show, show, dude. And I feel like I truly am the most entertaining. I wish I could sit in the audience and watch myself fight. Dude, that last fight, when I watched it back, there was times where Justin Bieber, one of the greatest performers of all time, was standing up. I was like, oh, yo, it was beautiful. Sick. It was it was art, dude. So I am the guy in, in the audience. Oh. And I'm telling you, watching you fight is mm. so fucking fun. Especially I said it. Like, how can you how can you have that many perfect strikes? Oh, and, and, and this is interesting too with you. You you don't you don't look like insanely jacked. Not <laughs> but but you have you have you have walk off KOs, dude. Yeah, yeah. People drop when your hands touch them. Yeah. Is it is it the precision? Is it like a weird wiry deceptive strength? Like what is it about your striking that drops people instantly? Um, I mean the last uh, two have been finished in the third round. I think, but for the most part, a lot of them are in the first round. It, it, it comes from. It's it's. I feel like when I get in the cage with people, and I always say it, every interview, I'm gonna get in there and I'm gonna be faster than they think I'm going to be. They can watch me on TV, they can watch me live, yep. but when they're in front of me, I'm going to be faster than they think, or faster than they've ever ever, ever felt. 100%. I truly believe that, that little, that twitch, that extra, I feel like I, I've got that more than anyone. Um, you know, I, I, it's not usually the first shot that knocks people out. I'll hit their chin four, five, six, seven, eight times, and then it's the one. Ah. that it, it, It's a buildup of punches. I'm not going to go in there, I mean, I could, very well could, like Connor and Aldo, 13 seconds boom one punch like that could happen but for the most part I'm going to I'm going to hit them in the in the chin I'm accurate very accurate hit them on the chin and it's with punch I was dribbling on that motherfucker Man, bro like, that was the where, cool that was the coolest he's shit he's probably like what am I, what, is, boom, what does he do boom, boom, crossing over broke his ankles some people say <laughs> some people say you're playing the different different sport some people dude. say uh Connor's ankle have was from cuz you yeah, 100% in the yeah, I, I mean possible. I was like it could be could I, mean, have been. I had that aura and that energy in the cage he might have 
went for, you know. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I think it comes from the, the speed, the accuracy, the setups, the little mm. fake. You do a lot of this. You're shit. doing I'm, this with your head. I'm fake spinning. No, one's, no one does. I'm, I'm creating a whole other style of striking, dribbling. Like, these are, these are feints. <laughs> these are, yeah, I yeah. mean, they're technically, it's yeah. no different than fainting. Right, with your, right, I'm, right. I'm dribbling. I'm fake spinning with my head. you got to react. If I spin and you don't react, I'm going to land. If I fake spin and you react to that fake spin, I'm going to come over the top with something else. It's 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 a yeah, fucking it's a plus, deep game. Plus, you're shooting from the hip a lot. You, you, shooting from the hip. You fight with your hands down. These are hard to see. You got a beautiful two Ooh. from the hip. Well, that's I mean that's the punch. These biceps are heavy. Imagine carrying these fuckers around all day. <laughs> I can't I keep them low. You know what I mean. Yeah. But yeah, shooting a, shooting a jab from the hip. I just it's so fun, dude. It's just a show. being in there is so fun. What What's got? up, guys? He's putting on a show. You ever think about bringing props in? Anything like that? They don't let me do shit. Like oh, they that. won't like a banjo, nothing like that. Let me say, I'll hit a little harmonica. <laughs> that would be sick. <laughs> I might try that next time. Pull it out of my shorts. Pull it out of my cup. 100%. 100%. You, so you want to be world champ? Is that is that on the agenda? You just want to have fun with it's your friends and make money? Dude, I'm going to become world champion uh, if I get back to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> no, I... No, I, this, it's good. It's good. I think this this is the last trip I've had, I have planned. I had this planned out a long time ago. I was going to come out to Puerto Rico. And I remember right. I was going to come that's out right. there and I truly was... Like, that was the plan. Um... But I was like, fuck, that's a, that's a long flight. I didn't want to leave. And I even yeah. asked you, I said, hey, could I bring Elena and Danny out? And you're like, yeah, of course. I had fucking so many things scheduled. That I was like, fuck, it's just not going to work. But this is the last thing I have scheduled. People are going to laugh because they're going to see me next weekend somewhere. <laughs> With Steve <laughs> in 6 9 <laughs> This is the last thing I have scheduled. Till I mean, I'm fighting in December. It's a long time away. Yeah. This is the last thing I have scheduled right now. Something might pop up here or there. But, dude, I'm, Tim and I, Jax, we plan on getting back to Going back, right back to work, and then and making it sound like I don't fucking train like, like these last eight weeks, dude. I'm having some of my best grappling rounds with um, some of the best guys in the world like last week. Yeah, like I'm fucking training, um, but there's a difference between full time training and then like, oh, I'm gonna go party Friday, Saturday. Yeah, yeah. you know what I mean. It, it, it makes me happy to hear that, dude. Like, I, like honestly, as your friend, you know, I, I want, I love partying with you, right? Oh. Like, I love, I love when we get the party with Sean, you know, especially like here in Cleveland. Oh, but God. also, like, I want you to win every single fight. Yeah. It, and I have to train. I, I have to be training. It's an eternal conflict for me. Mm. You know, I want party Sean, but I also want kick ass yeah, Sean. Yeah, and it's definitely that balance. You sound like you got it under control. Yeah, no, I, I need, I need, a, you know, I need real people around me. But hey, dude, settle down, Timmy. Oh, he's on him. Timmy's on me. He's on I, me. I but Timmy's it. also balancing himself. That's too. what I'm saying, bro. Because <laughs> it's a, it's a package deal with him. Yeah, Tim's I want right, Timmy right to come there. sit on the couch, man. Yeah, come sit on the couch. I really, I really do, bro. Tim, just because. I, no, 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 no. I gotta go or just, pee anyway. Okay. Oh, have you thing. have you noticed ever since I told him to speed up the story, he's been quiet? No, he's not. He, he's he, he. It affected his I mean, look at his girl. She knows. No, he's he's full shit. This is bro. He left. The reason why I wanted the reason why I wanted to see this is just because. This is iconic. Uh, it's a crossover. It's Biggie and Two. That's a, well, it's a crossover. You heard? Not like, quite, well, number one and number two, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah. Am I partying too much? <laughs> probably a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's probably the honest answer. I'm okay well, with that's I was telling him earlier. I was like, dude, we don't start getting serious here. You're going to get your ass beat next <laughs> fight. Straight up. <laughs> uh, I got two oh, more. Shit. No, it's, I mean, dude, if I want to be world champion, I want to be fighting the best dudes in the world, 100%. You got to stay in the gym like I have over the last... 10 fucking years, dude. Like I said, I've just recently, the last, this year more so than any, I've started getting these opportunities to go and do sweet things, go to clubs. Isn't like, it? Isn't it so interesting how, like, the more success you acquire, there's, like, different hurdles and obstacles you have to overcome. And, like, even step one is, right, like, ah, I want to be in the UFC. Then it starts to happen. I want to win. It starts to happen. You keep winning. And then the more fame you get, the more success you acquire, you get, these privileges, like mm. like the parties, like mm. the you get walked behind the DJ booth, like the fans, oh, the God. girls, everything, and and it's interesting because at the end of the day, all that shit really is just temptation. It's 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 ninety nine percent of the time temptation, and yeah. and it's another hurdle and obstacle to be able to overcome that temptation yeah. and continue on your original path. Mm. It's very hard. You find a lot of um, athletes, a lot of people who find success quick lose at that stage yeah you got that but initial lose, but lose what though you know what i'm saying the initiative a, no the you initiative, lost the plot the initiative you, for, you forgot the reason why you originally started and now you're going off the deep end because you're reaping the benefits of the thing you built without completing your true mission i, I hear you and but and well you take that trajectory off from your original mission to complete your career goals you find yourself having a whole bunch of fun and completing life goals mm. you hear what i'm saying so it's like you like dude 
Maybe he never had the life goal of partying with fucking behind the DJ booth in Vegas with Kygo and fucking every celebrity. I'm just saying, answer. like, bro, you know what, what happens if Johnny Manziel checking. doesn't party? What happens if Johnny Manziel yeah, doesn't yeah, party? Yeah, he gets Oof. great shit done on the field, but I'm just saying, like, maybe Johnny Manziel ends up in a in a in a spot where he really loves doing podcasts with fucking no, and Mike, he, and, with Mike, and, Mike, uh, was it Mike Stud? That's not even supposed to be a joke, Connor Blakely from Cleveland. Why the fuck are you <laughs> laughing at that? I'm just saying, like, sometimes you end up in other situations and you're doing things that you never thought you were going to be able to do, but the, the answer is balance. The answer is always balance. What if you, get, what if you are incapable balance. of that? Like, then, Yeah, that's tough. That's it, bad. It's, then no, you shouldn't no partake. No, desires, no such thing. Those little desires you get. That's what I think. Well, having your goals dialed in. Yeah, like, mm-hmm. if you want to be a world champion in the top five in the UFC, we can't be fucking around like yeah. this. Yeah, that makes sense. If you want to just chill, be a superstar, stay out of the top ten, have fun, we could do that too, but we just got to switch up our goals a bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the goal is, the ultimate goal is, is to become, swallow, yeah. become world champion. Yeah. But once I'm world champion, it might all be downhill from there. <laughs> <laughs> it might all be downhill from no. there, boys. You heard it here first. Can you Can you come back from getting fucking starched? Like like a like a you know there's some guys have been ha- starched yeah I not think not for you but oh well I mean for me specific like I don't know not, not you I'm just saying one right like we, bro we've seen some nasty knockouts I think it's it, that it's different with every everyone I could drop my next fight I might be like whoa fuck fighting mm. or I'm like that was fucking lucky um, yeah. that was, that I made a mistake I've seen both ways I've seen both ways it, and, and not, being Hendo. Say again? Bisping Hendo. Oh, oh God. Fuck. And then Bisping come back and win the title. And then yeah. be, and he beat Hendo in a rematch. Yep. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a, uh individual. It, it really sure. is. It, the adversity of, of getting fucking knocked out in front of the entire world and then having the balls to come back also creates a lot of excitement. Like mm. you talk about a show, right? Dude, we, that's we yeah. get knocked the fuck out. like bro, Stipe and Cormier back and forths. Oh, uh. Come on, that was crazy, dude. Speaking Come of on. show, I don't know when this will release. Tuesday. Jake had already, Jake, so Jake. he'll have already fought, which is interesting. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. so Jake, well, let's just say this: creating a show, like, dude, I, as an outsider, what of being a fan of fighting in general, not necessarily just a huge UFC fan, because I'm not like a huge UFC fan. I'm a fan of, of You're fan of the show. Bro. I'm a fan of a show. So yep. I want to see the Connor versus Nate. What the fuck? Why are they fighting? Doesn't matter, not for a belt. They're fighting because everyone wants to see if Connor or Nate's gonna win. Dude, I'm a fan of the Jake show. Yep. The Logan show. When you fought Floyd, I was sitting there fucking like, what the what was gonna happen? That's how I feel when you guys fight. It's it, you guys create a different atmosphere to where it's not for a belt. It's not for who's the best boxer in the world. It's a fucking show that it's I want to fucking watch every single time. Jake for time. I'm in Cleveland. I want to watch it. I'm gonna sit front row if they give me front row tickets. I'm not sure. I'm gonna sit <laughs> better. Second, second row, second row. I'm gonna sit there. I'm gonna watch, and I'm gonna be fucking entertained. I'm yep. so excited for how this fight's gonna play out. And uh, you guys are fucking just entertainers. Well, that's the secret, dude. I think if if anyone can take, well, if a fighter in particular can take advice from what we do, it's just strategy, bro. We're we're, we're really just marketers. We happen to be the product as well. Mm-hmm. I was at the the weigh-in today with Jake. Yep. And and, and I I looked at his pet robot. And which, by the way, he's got a pet Unreal. robot. Unreal. That thing's a robot. Yeah. Okay. Fully autonomous too. There's no human inside it. Jesus. It's complete. It's what? it has dreams. <laughs> it can dream. Jesus. Anyways, I look at I look Sentient at I look at the fuck? fucking. The, there's he put TVs on the robot's chest, and playing on the TV of the robot's chest. I'll beat you up. Is a highlight reel of Tyron getting knocked out. <laughs> it's just. I mean, the, I mean, there's levels to this. I looked levels. at it. I'm like. This kid's brilliant. Yeah. He's brilliant, dude. He is. He, I fucking love it, dude. He's so and and he obviously he's being himself, but with a little extra. He's being himself with a lot extra, maybe. But it, dude, he's that's genius. It's not a lot extra, dude. I'm telling. I'm telling you, like, he's always done this. He's always impressed me. I I've said this before. I have no shame in saying this, dude. When we first came out to LA, I I wasn't sure Jake was gonna make it. Like, no, no one was. And you can ask anyone who lived in 1600 Vine or, like, and he was, like, definitely the little brother, right? He's like, hey, guys, like, do you mind if I tag along while you make your Vines today? Like, <laughs> everyone counted him out. I don't want to yeah. say I completely counted him out. I just wasn't sure. Yeah. And then to see him, like, break through and really forge this path um, where he's in a, in, a, in a really healthy spot, regardless of whether you dislike him or like him, you got to respect him. 100%. I mean, you don't have to, but you, sh- you should. He's, he's built something quite... Um, Remarkable, dude! It's crazy. And he's backing it up with fucking hard work. That's, that's the, what's that's cool, the thing, cool to dude. see about you guys that you guys yep. are fucking backing it up with hard work. You know what I mean? Not talking all this shit and then just coming out there and 
and you can you can just see it. You can see it in your guys' style. You can see it when you fought Floyd too. It's like you didn't fight Floyd. You just didn't train for four fucking months. You dialed in. That was a, that was an eight month camp, bro. It was fucking sweet to watch. Two of the dude. most mentally strong people in the world, and that's the thing. You could take whatever you want from him. You could talk shit about him and his brother, but they are they are fucking dialed. Dialed when yeah. it comes to whatever project they're working on, whether it's an NFT project, whether it's a boxing match, whatever it is, they're locked in, both of them, and they and they work hard, very fucking hard at whatever they do. Dude, it's, I want to come out, come out to Puerto Rico so bad. You, you, it, you, you really should. On the beach. You mentioned you mentioned oh. how locked in you are in camp, bro, and it's yeah. like I, I, you said no one goes harder in camp, and I in my mind I'm like, dude, I, hard. we feel the same way. Yeah. Like it, it cannot be any more dialed in. Yeah. Jake is on a regiment, like. Bro, he works harder than I would argue ninety nine point nine percent of professional fighters. Yeah, and, and and you'd fit it right in, bro. When we're in camp, like come, come on, come to Puerto Rico. We'll run on the beach. We'll have mm-hmm. the nice meals. We have ice baths. We have a, a hyperbaric oxygen chamber. Oof. Massage therapist, like everything, dude. We have it. Lock in with us. Yeah, dude. I I mean, I crave fight camps sometimes. And when I'm in fight camp, I'm like, oh god, I want to smoke and just chill and eat, and not fucking. But dude, when you're in fight camp, it's it's a lifestyle. It's every single. What can I do right now? Yep. To make whether it's in the morning tonight, perfect or tonight session, or if it's after training, what can I do right now? Oh, I got to stretch. Yep. Oh, I got to fucking quiet my mind. It's nine. Nine o'clock. I gotta go to bed at ten. I'm gonna quiet my mind. I do a meditation. I'm gonna get in the cold plunge. I already ate because I don't want to eat too close to bed because my digest. I gotta get good sleep. Like, dude, it's always what do I gotta do right now to feel better in the next hour, next two hours, tomorrow? It's it's that constant for eight weeks, and it's you crave that when you're out of camp, but when you're in camp, it's like fuck. Sometimes you get deep, four weeks into camp, and you're like, fuck. Are you, are you craving some of that discipline again? Are you want to absolutely get in, get not? That? I found a rhythm right now in my life <laughs> where I am so creatively fulfilled Fuck yeah! with he, the men of he, yeah he's been saying lately I, I when we talk about it i'm like i mean dude this guy's a boxer he goes not a boxer i'm an artist <laughs> that's what he says now he hey, goes i'm good. an artist that's good i like that i like that I, i'm not yeah no it's 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 actually true i'm a, i'm identifying as an artist now dude that's uh, a creative <laughs> artist well, that's perfect i he, just said I'm I'm, I'm 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 making now i'm building i'm, I'm creating every i'm working on something right now Get a little tad on your face Thinking about it, might as well. Might as well. Yeah, man, it's 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 interesting. Life becomes much less stressful when you have a goal. Like when yeah. you when you are in fight camp, I I I resonate, right? You've done it many more times than me, right? But the the three times that I've been in like a proper fight camp, going hard as fuck because that's all we know how to do. Mm-hmm. It has always been a breath of fresh air to be like, okay, I know what I need to do today in order to achieve my goal. That's right here, yeah. and, and you know the guy. Or girl that you're going to fight on, on the exact day yeah. in, in the venue, you know? A lot of times people don't have that uh, that um, cushion to know when their moment is coming or... or, or, or A specific deadline. Yeah, it's... You know, it's nice. Purpose. Do, do mm-hmm. some influencers, do you find them getting, like, almost... They don't have a purpose? They don't really have a purpose? And then you and uh, Jake found boxing and it kind of gave you a purpose and a drive. 100%. 100%. And you liked it. Like, do, do a lot of influencers get absolutely. depressed? No, absolutely. Yeah, dude. For sure. Like yeah, stress, bro. Like, because you, you settle into this. Ri- you just I mean, I'll speak for myself. Yeah, I'll speak for myself. I mean, to, to an extent. I, I love what I do, but you do. You fall into a rhythm where it's brand deal, brand deal, brand deal, video, video, brand deal, brand deal. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and you sometimes do sit back and you ask yourself the question, like, yo, What's the end game here? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, what, what, what is the what? What denotes final achievement? And I was, I was blessed, blessed, blessed with the book, obviously, and put put that out. And that, that was almost my magnum opus. He's got a book. Like by when the way. when yeah. I stop, please, <laughs> please. You know you I just, I, I'm not, yeah. Don't yeah. even fucking joke around. But what I'm saying best, is, best song I got that, I got that out of the way first. And so when that was done, I felt like a lot more free to do whatever the fuck I wanted. But yes, it does. It gets. You find yourself in this tedious, Just a little monotonous, monotony. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah it, for sure. The for only sure. thing about the the discipline with the fight stuff is, uh, you know, I, I, I like to have fun. Oh my god! And and, 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 and I really like being, I really like <laughs> being too. creative. And and it's funny with this thing I'm working on now. I like I, we we joke, but like I really do feel like an artist, whether it's boxing, right? And and as you feel, bro, you're an artist in the ring. Are you kidding me? Paint the way the way you paint on the canvas Oof. is fucking brilliant. You know, it, it, artistry is not bound or set to to mean one thing, 
right? Art is subjective and art can be anything. Mm -hmm. And everything I've ever done in my life, I would consider uh, artistic in some way, shape or form. And at the end of the day, like I always said I was a creator, which is true. But I think at the end of the day, you boil me down to my core. I think I'm an artist. Isn't creator artist similar? Sure, yeah, Om yeah, almost synonymous. Sure. I think. O I think one. Fans? The scope is. Yeah, I, yeah. I'm on, put, I'm on OnlyFans. <laughs> oh, there are there are artists. There's an, I mean, yeah, there's for an sure. Art. No, there's there's no, 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 honestly, dude. Take a pic. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 100%. It's yeah. hard. Some of these girls got great backgrounds and lighting, and it's I mean, there's great. there really is as funny as it sounds. I mean, to get the the perfect. Ass shot. Oh, mm. dude, I know. <laughs> it takes fucking work, and bro. you know because, oh, like, yeah. bro, when you're when you're next to, well, not just OnlyFans girls, any girl, any guy, even, you know, you they scroll through their phone, right? They want to show you a picture, and you see the horde of the same kind Thousands of angle, of like images. it's a selfie, bro. right? And then they have to explain, like, oh, I, like this is an Instagram post, like, dude, uh, yeah. It, it, you look, you're on Joe Rogan, yeah. How was that, dude? That was a long time ago, dude. I, I wish I could almost. I'm jealous. It, it was so weird because I was 20. Two years. Were you old. the youngest person to go on Joe Rogan? I, I believe I I have been, and it was uh, it was so long ago. I feel like I, I would love to go back on there, and I I I never re-listened to it. I don't really remember what we talked about too much. I remember we got so fucking stoned, mm. and I remember him talking about what happened if Elon built all the underground tunnels and then it flooded, and Joe was fucking going like this and he was smoking, <laughs> and I was like, immaculate. It was. Do you remember that? We were so oh fucking high. Um. Yeah, that was cool. I, I almost, I should probably go back and listen to it because I don't really remember what the fuck we talked about too much. But Joe, Joe's a, fu Joe's gonna die someday, and that sucks, doesn't it? Yeah, I thought, yeah, I think yeah, about yeah. that randomly when I get stoned. I'm like, holy shit, we're gonna lose Joe Rogan someday. We're gonna lose everyone, dude. Well, that's it, true. But like, let's just go. Joe, on. why does he have to die? I mean, are we? Are you? Are you sure, sure that he's gonna? Are you 100 you know percent positive? That dude's got he access. Could, he to could be some here forever. Peak that is true. Performance I chemicals. Anabolic, yeah. you know, galactically <laughs> delivered. Yeah. Some people Tesla are saying bot. that he's Tesla he was fro uh, cryogenically frozen in the '60s. Believe Whoa. it or not, and that he actually is not. He's not even a human at this okay. point. Okay, makes sense. Need a Tesla bot if they come out. Absolutely, <sighs> for HJs, hundred oh, percent. Yeah, to get handies from the from the bot. Dude. I just remember he, we said I just don't want to see the thing shopping. <laughs> because it has no business doing that. My yeah. question is this: like you're at you're in aisle seven and it's picking out pickles. Yeah, what the <laughs> fuck are you doing here? I don't want to see your like stupid gay little one robot ass. <laughs> it's uh, twerking. <laughs> why are you here, dude? It's this Trader Joe's. What the yeah. fuck are you doing here, dude? I want to see. Robots. Bro, I saw I saw so I I'd heard about these these carts right that deliver your food the robot carts and I thought it was a joke and I seen my first one like probably two months ago like. Or no, this, that was in LA. This was longer than that. Uh, but this cart was going down the street, right? <laughs> An autonomous robot cart that delivers you food. Seriously. And I had this urge to destroy yeah, it. Yeah, of course. You should. Like this. Why are you doing that? Why? Like, what are you doing? <laughs> stop! Don't, stop! Don't, don't be, don't be that. that. Don't. don't but what be if? That. What if? What if the person at home had COVID? And they couldn't go out. Like, call, it doesn't call, matter. Call, 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 call you have Postmates. Call Postmates. Okay. Delivery. That's fair. Fuck the robots. And, 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 and by the way, is there gonna? It, well, we've seen the movies, but is there gonna be some sort of law? against like is that destruction of property if that thing comes in my fucking mm. yard dude you gotta defend yourself 100 percent tesla bot walking by <laughs> bro, what, why, why is all gay? the robots why, gay why, why you made them all gay <laughs> you should it's he's all like, yeah, by the way it's gay <laughs> why <laughs> what, what, what? <laughs> he's got something to say on impulsive <laughs> what is, what are you all saying, the robots man? are gay <laughs> it's the same way alex jones said about the frogs when he came out <laughs> oh, we God, always got alex somebody jones. on the show saying <laughs> something's gay <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you you could be you could have been the youngest person going rogue, and that's cool, man. That is actually pretty cool. He, a lot of people see so much in you, including us, right? Yeah. But thanks. like, man, just kicking ass and taking names. He dude. talks about him when you're even not on the show. He he always dissects your shit. He's like, that guy yeah. is a remarkable striker. He's that, so. That's the thing, though. You're right. It's like that we got to dial in. He's Twitch streaming. We got the podcast. Yeah, He's got his brother's podcast. We got all this <laughs> got stuff. Dial we got in, bro. And let me. T I had. I had this. I had this theory. It got clipped. A lot of people. I think people like this. I said this on the KSI podcast. When you do too much, you don't do anything. Mm. Mm. The people in the world who are the best at what they do and like world renowned stick to one thing and do it yeah. full throttle. Yep. Yeah. And, and I struggle with this. I like to do a lot, um, but especially for you, especially for combat sports. My, my you know, I'm, I'm just a guy. But eventually, you know, you want to be world champ. Yeah, you gotta dial it in. There's a there's a sacrifice you got to make. He he wanted to write a book about his journey to sobriety and recovery. He became sober. Very hard for him. All we did was go out and, and drink and get drunk. He took an oath to himself and his audience and the people who bought the book. And 
it worked out. You know, I mean, I know you know, bro. I'm just kind of yeah. speaking. It's a podcast. We're talking. Yeah. No, <laughs> I he think likes, but he feels the, Sugar Sean feels the call of duty sometimes. He wants to. He wants I don't, to. I think he wants a to good drop outlet. a twenty thirty bomb. Oh, I think I think the things that I do do when I'm home in a good routine. We have a podcast Wednesday morning at eleven. Whatever. That's an hour long. Uh, me and my little brother have the show, the Bromali show. We do it like twice a week sometimes. Like it's he comes what, to my house. What's the difference? It's easy. Uh, me and Daniel fucking talk some shit, and then Tim and I talk about. Similar, these are separate, different shit. Yeah, yeah. But even that right there sounds like the same thing twice. Oh, uh, come on. But it's in, like Daniel comes up, we do a 30 minute show at my house. I'm fucking stoned in my robe. Why, like, not, do, why not just add him on your show and do one less thing? Could. Not a bad idea. Give it a shot. Do one show. Redundancy. But, bro, but, but, yeah. but, 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 and then I stream on Twitch. Verdance. You take a trip. I play to Rebirth. I play it with the boys. I think it's a good outlet. It's like I go train, game, train in yeah. camp. I don't do that because I can't fucking game because it takes too much energy. Like it, it, it when I stream, I fucking go hard. It's not, yeah, streaming. Streaming, scre- streaming is one of the most it's exhausting, exhausting things on the planet. Dude, I don't know how these kids do it. I can't do it in camp. I literally can't do it in camp. I can do it at the end of the week when all my work's done. I'll, I'll hop on two couple times a week. Yeah, like outside outside of camp, I'm playing four or five six days a week. Inside camp, two. Where you be dropping? I just drop a. Uh, I play Rebirth, dude. So, so like, what's like a chemical person. factory or some shit? I drop top prison takeover, dude. Hank That's C- a hot spot. It's like supermarket for Tim's addicted labor. now too. It's a we, great we, game, dude, dude. Get on the headphones with the boys, locking in, crack it open a ZDA, not sponsored. No, I know. Oh, I, I, I won't pick up the controller because I know how fun it is. Too and fun. I, it, it's too fun. I'll get addicted. I bid. I, I'm always uh, impressed with how you're able to uh, smoke copious amounts of weed and still be one of the best athletes in That's UFC. the thing that I, a lot of I think people think I smoke a ton of weed. I smoke every day, but I don't smoke all day. I smoke at night. Uh, I, I hit a va- I smoke a vaporizer, a nice quality volcano vaporizer or a dab a, a dab on a low heat. It's a it's not bad, horrible for your lungs a dab on low heat a vaporizer. Dude, if I'm, you know, Outside of camp, if someone handed me a joint, I'd smoke a joint. I try not to smoke joints, blunts, bongs, pipes. It's just a little misleading, bro, because I've definitely seen videos on your Instagram of you like... I smoke every day. But like while you work out sometimes. Those are kind of more for like, you know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> Those are so funny. It's the show. That's the sugar Those show. Those are great. People want to It's show. funny. Uh, dude, weed is my best friend back home, though, because if I'm just, just me, naturally, it's like, let's, let's do something. Woo. I smoke. I'm like, we can chill. We can chill. Yeah. We can, I can, it's five o'clock. I'll sit outside and Levels chill. We can chill. But if I don't smoke, I'm like, God, I found, uh, what do you want to do, Tim? You want to go do uh, something? You want to hang out? You want to do something? Want to play basketball? But if I can smoke, it really levels me out. It fucking brings me da- back down to like a zero. Naturally, I'm a six. Mm. Like, I smoke. I'm a, I'm a zero. What gets you to a ten? Just curious. You've so seen it. Like, You've oh, seen I'm it. About to see it again. At, right at XS after the, after the win that <laughs> night, dog. Come on, come on, bro. I was. Sarah, I Sarah was, was following me around. No, you were not following she was him fo- around. She was following me around, tr- trying to, trying to follow me around. No, I, I was, was wondering where you. I literally no. was like, "Where's the person watching Sean?" Tim, I thought it was you, dude. I was but you all were over the place. Yeah, yeah, was, he just goes no. like this. <laughs> no, Sarah, Sarah was Sarah, Chris. I had a couple people that were watching me. Bro, shirt off. Every liquid on the table, dude, down, down the body. Every time I get drunk, my I just I'm like, why am I wearing a shirt? I don't even like shirts. Sometimes you just wear like a half a shirt. You'll have I don't, a shirt fully dude, unbuttoned. Lately, suit, no shirt. Like that's when we're in a fight. A, yeah. It's dude, shirts. What are you gonna wear? To, I gotta ask this question. What's what's both? He's, of, he's making a good point. What's both of y'all's goal? Pussy. No, 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 no. And that <laughs> okay, might be okay, the okay, answer. Okay, okay. That it's might be not, the answer. It's not. It's not. It's bad what's answer. both of y'all's goal? And that is the answer for Cleveland. Like, what are oh, y'all trying to? Cleveland? Yeah. What are y'all trying to accomplish besides watching this this great fight? Because we're going to be with you guys yeah. probably for the next 48 hours. We could get it done, uh, too. Yeah. Tim's going to go back to the hotel after this, and he's going to he's gonna stay at the hotel tonight. What? What so, did what? you say? <laughs> no, that he's going to go back to the hotel no, tonight. No, no, no. I heard what you said, but for some reason, I, I, I wasn't able to translate it. You're, you're saying what now? Yeah, fine. I'll come out. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Like, what the fuck? Is, <laughs> what the fuck is going on, Timmy? You think we're going to split this for some? Uh, what are you doing? Oh, God. I mean, I okay, when we left this morning, you got to remember, we woke up at like six to get here. It's doggy, three hours. Doggy, I flew on a fucking red eye here, and my friend passed out unconscious <laughs> against the fucking cockpit. Which one? Fucking George. George. Georgie. Unconscious. Is Georgie still peeing? Door. Yeah, he fell, he fell in. Uh, no, no, I'm telling you, I upset him. I'm yeah. telling you, I upset no, him. I, I don't I, think bro, so. Bro, I upset him. You think so? Yeah. 
He didn't George, like that sometimes he Because even, even his girl left. I, you oh, can always shit. look at the girl, brother. Yeah. You he's, can always tell. Let's get him God, back. Come on. George! We, we were 15 minutes into the same story. It, it, come on. I felt, you know how you feel it? Come on. You know how it's not even like you just feel I got to run a show. Damn, it happens. I feel bad. It happens. But, dude, okay, we left early this morning. Wait, and, I, I, uh, came back. I left once. <laughs> Evans, you, say? you were you were you were really going through some shit though. That was like a cathartic episode. George didn't like that I cut the story short. Fifty minutes. You coming out last night? <laughs> what is he, so he goes. Uh, I don't wait, know. Can, Am wait, I can we, <laughs> wait, can we squeeze Evan in too? Evan, yeah, Evan, get in. Evan, Evan, ladies and gentlemen, Evan's back on the number one podcast. Let's go. No, not to say yeah, too. Just, just, just let him sit there. Just, yeah, just take, take a seat. Yeah. yeah, man, I love you. I you can't believe, I, fucking Mike, <laughs> dude. Oh, and what was I saying? Okay, we left this morning. We were t- fucking tired. We were even talking. We're like, I don't know what you guys are doing tonight. Let's just we could keep it low key tonight. Dog, I didn't know if we had something planned. I didn't make any plans. I said, hey, we can no, keep- no, no. Dog, yeah. it's us, dog. It's, it's Saturday night. Okay, we're in also Cle- we're in Cleveland, oh, dude. Okay, also we we're have in- a <laughs> seminar with. I don't like, know if you could say that. Not Cleveland. Clickly? That's yeah, what you pop. just called it? That, it's just, you, gotta, you gotta do something else. Should we, <laughs> should we Y'all, you, you guys won't even allow that should shit. Should we bleep it? What is it? For any, you just don't like it? Just say we in the land. Oh, like the land. Cleveland. No, you, you don't, you don't say the land? I guess I'm not, I don't live here anymore. Oh, uh, it's a tone tone thing. Well, what, is there like a name for the city? Is it like the road? We, we call it Cleveland. 440? I'm 440. Yeah, I used to be. So Why? Because no, it, it's 216440. What are no the other? nickname? Is that what you're saying to me right now? There's no. This, it's the land, bro. The, the land. Are they still the Indians or are they the guard, Guardians? Or the Gardeners? Oh, it was the baseball team name? Uh, no the Cleveland one, no. Guardians? Oh, Tim the Cleveland really... Red Sox. <laughs> Just Cleveland. <laughs> After this year, okay, okay. He said it's the Cleveland Red Sox. So that's like the that's like the uh, baseball version of the of the Washington Football Club. You guys just switch names. Go do some shit. What's going? What the fuck's going on here, dude? Con- there's Connor Blake. So there's clubs. Or you, what? This is his. Yeah. This is his studio. There, there he is. This is his. It, can, come just wave. Just one time. We've, oh, we've brought we up this about kid him. so many <laughs> talked, fucking times. No, no, okay, do it, do it, do it. Do it the turn. There he is. There he is. That's Connor Blakely. The you, co- I was honestly gonna throw it at you. Oh God! You it, <laughs> you're allowed to smoke. So how, how is that? Should take a little puff. Oh yeah. yeah. Well, do you, I mean Let's does that fit into your regimen, Sean? Yeah, we can take a little puff. He doesn't smoke. What's what's with this whole? You said laying low. What what did you mean by that? Um, yeah, I don't I don't know if I. What have. I was saying, um, was when we were driving here, we woke up early, and I was like, hey, dude, we can lay low tonight, and Tim was like, I'm for sure laying low tonight. <laughs> And then we were at the ho- the hotel on the way here, and I was in the shower going, I'm feeling good. Yeah. And I yelled that. And he said, you guys have fun tonight. Oh, Tim, well, you're well, very easy to break, But also, we dude. have over, we have like That's 100 a, people tomorrow. Seconds. We have a seminar in the morning. You had one last time. You had one last time. When we, and it wasn't me, good, dude. You said to me, you said, I uh, cannot, I cannot I go out tonight because we have a seminar tomorrow. What kind of seminar? And then, and then it was 8.30 in the morning, and you were ripping mushrooms outside the strip club at, up, Ma- at Magic City. And I was like, you sure about this seminar? What kind of <laughs> seminar? I'm, I'm A striking seminar. Okay. I'm, I'm, a, I'm in the UFC. Okay, I thought that you're doing like public <laughs> speaking. You, So you are in the UFC. I fight. No, but dude, honestly, we'll get, we, oh, it's our biggest seminar yet. I think they're projecting about 100 people. Every single seminar I've done, I've been very fucked and hung. I, it, they've been very good. We've we've done, they've been good. I've been drunk and I was like, you know what, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be focused this seminar. Mm. So I actually, I actually gotcha. don't mind keeping it light. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Fuck, I mean, dude, what if we just got hours? Big fight, big fucking Wait. fight. You, 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 you get the, your official pick, like what round or what's gonna exactly. I think happen. it's gonna be less than three. I think Jake's gonna starch him like God, clean. I feel like Tyrone in sparring. He probably hasn't gone out there to hurt these motherfuckers. He's gonna try to hurt Jake in those first three rounds. I feel he's that. Fuck her out. I feel that. That's what I feel. Jake's, Jake's, a, t- think, Jake's a tough Jake's a tough kid. What do you think, Shane? God, what do I think? I, this fight has really just puzzled me, dude. Mm. Just because I just, I would, I've never, wa- I haven't got to watch Jake spar. I haven't got to watch him, f- watch him beat up Ben. I, I've heard his sparring. I know he's sparring with good motherfuckers. I know he's got a good team. I'm a believer. You know, I, I, I said, I, I don't remember who I was talking to the other day. I'm like, dude, he's got me convinced. The same way Connor gets me convinced when he's gonna go out there and beat Habib 
He's he get, Jake's got me. I'm on. I'm all Jay. I'm like this dude's gonna win. I just want to see. I want. I wish I could watch some sparring. Just really give me a good fucking idea. I'll, t- I'll tell you what his sparring is like. You'll be surprised with how smart he fights. Yeah. That's that's my number one takeaway. Every time I watch him fight, spar, he's like he's he's thinking. He's he's not fighting emotionally. He's yeah. he's he's smart, bro. And like it's hard. <laughs> I'm here to tell you, Jake Paul's not a, not an idiot. You know, it's uh, it may it may come as a surprise to you, but it's all it's all a game to him, and he's very good at playing the yeah. game. And he's I'll, very smart and strategic. I would love to see him dro- finish him early. Also, wouldn't mind seeing a, a fucking slobber knocker, a seven yeah, eight yeah. round b- boxing match. Um, so he could going, take going shots too. I'm sure he's a yeah. big, big, strong motherfucker. Hasn't been boxing since he was little. You know, I feel get kids that box when they're little get hit a lot in the head, and that's probably ain't good. He's probably got a fucking. He's got a noggin on him. I seen Jake. His head is big. He got a big ass. Head. I seen him get. I seen him get cl- hit very clean once in sparring, <clears throat> one time. Like like a clean fucking shot from Bostwick. Y'all know who that is? Uh-huh. The bare knuckle fighter. Uh, the fucking beast, dude. Bostwick. He's from. He's from uh, Russia. He's British. He busted him. Oh, classic. Got him. Clean shot. And I was like, oh fuck. Like I was like, damn. Is this the? Is this the first time you know Jake gets dropped in sparring? Bro, this motherfucker goes. That was the hardest shot I've been hit with. And then <laughs> right back to action. Didn't didn't face it. He's a sicko, dude. No one's gotten to see him get hit. And I'm sure he's 24. 20, yeah, he's 24. 24. Dude. And he's been, when did he start boxing? 20, 21? 21, yeah. Dude. And, and you, you can get, he's gotten so good in those three years. All he's been doing. It's all he's, he has, he, what yeah. does he have? Four, three, three professional fights? One amateur fight? Is that right? Yeah, you know, that's that's, that's, cool. that's I'm, cool. I'm so excited for this fight, dude. Me too. It's funny because it'll have already happened. And, and oh yeah, okay. So then I can talk about him coming out southpaw shadow boxing. <laughs> wait, wait, is that gonna be for his open workout? Shadow box shadow uh, southpaw. He did really. He was opening up. And he even talked about. It. He said, "I might come out southpaw." Yeah, you watch. It could be. Hey, I think that's a lie. I think it very well. Uh, this, comes I think out, that, uh, this comes. Uh, this comes out Tuesday. He so is that he is. Yeah, yeah, no, it's fine. And probably he probably said it. No, he, he, was, he was shadow boxer southpaw. And he looked all right? He looked, yeah, like I he mean, as, over. did he look like no. he was trying to, it, was all right. it wasn't bad. <laughs> it wasn't, like it didn't look bad. Was trying to fight southpaw. Yeah. A little yeah, bit. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a trick, dude. Like, yeah. it, it's, Marketing. again, this is Who knows? Fight. Tyrone can be like, oh, fuck, that's, stop it out southpaw. That's the trick. <laughs> but dude, the kid I fought on eight, nine, ten days notice was a southpaw. I trained for an orthodox guy. If, I, I mean, dude, if, like Tim and I were talking, if I knew I was fighting Chris six, seven, eight weeks out, he was southpaw. I probably would have knocked him out. You know, the, the timing's a little bit different. The setups are a little bit different. Mm. The defense, the offense. There's so much, you know, just from that stance switch that is different. Mm. That, uh, dude, who knows? I mean, what if he comes out Southpaw? Is Southpaw a unique skill to, like, to have? It is, is almost it? a little different, but is it anymore nowadays? I don't know. I feel like there's a fuck ton of Southpaws. A lot of people are starting to become switch stance, but no one will ever be as smooth switch stance as me. Yeah, you're, you're, it's the yeah. smoothest shit I've ever seen in my life. I just do it. It's wa- your water, dude. Water, water. Need a little water tap. Yeah. If you're, if you're uh, innately left-handed, are, are you a southpaw by default? Yeah, for the most part. Okay, that, okay, that, okay. Would, that would make sense. Okay, mm. okay. Which is weird because I've I can't write left-handed. Fuck, I can hardly write right-handed. Really, like, <laughs> that shit's bad. I'm like, how is that so sloppy? Um, but I could pretty. I mean, I feel so confident with my left hand for a power shot, which is, um, do you, how do you? I mean, when you switch southpaw, it it feels weird throwing a hard power hand left hand. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not there yet. I, I do sometimes for like shits and gigs for like the five seconds. Yeah. But I, I'm not gonna fight. Uh, well, from sometimes there. you know. You, I mean, you're just. It just. I don't know. Did you ever feel comfortable throwing a hard left hand for southpaw? Fuck no. Oh, the, er, everything's different. Your balance is off. Yeah. Your Your weight distribution's off. Fucking hell no! I couldn't bust a grape with my straight left. Yeah. No, but yeah, I just feel so comfortable left handed, right handed. Um. Is it something anyone can learn, or is it like a unique, like you, it's like you have it or you don't have it? You, uh, you snowboard? Yeah, that's what I was going to ask. Yeah. You know how you, you're fake, either goofy fake. or regular? I can go both. Okay. Equally? So it's, it's, it's probably, yes. it's probably, you're bi? You're yeah, ambid- ambidextrous. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I got a low center of gravity, you, you jer- bro. Like, I can. You jerk I, with both hands, too? Both. 
Yeah, I'm actually a lefty. You, you jerk off with your left po- hand? I like that. South Pod South Peter? Peter? I back that. What? Peter. That's I back it. That. Yeah. You're I switched. Wild, dude. I switched midway. What, what was the... What oh, was wow. I started off righty, then I was like, I don't know. I got to go south. What was the catalyst you for the change? You did got bored? Yeah, I got bored. Get what? Out of here a little. What was the catalyst for the change? I mean, uh, you, what did you see it do Well, you know how I have to get... I have tennis elbow. Yeah. You know? It's injury related. Yeah, exactly. So I was like, fuck, I I can't keep icing afterwards. Did you get... You don't play tennis. You got tennis elbow from jerk. It. <laughs> no. Did you get ten- <laughs> You got mas- masturbatory tennis elbow Yes it's oh, Just from fucking so whacking much, So, so much torque in it a lot of torque <laughs> I had to stop. No. Uh, dude subscribed like sixteen only fans. Only fans. <laughs> he <laughs> told he told me once he watched his porn for the storyline. Like no, like strict that's pure- a deep dude. Was yeah. it? I love deep. it. <laughs> he, he, he's, the, he's there to find out What's like the why connection? the stepsisters stuck. <laughs> I'm done during the storyline. I'm like second. exiting it out and like deleting like fuck it's it's crazy, during the storyline. The <laughs> Did they end up selling the house? <laughs> I need to know. Johnny got in. Know. He was the real the next Did the house oh, sell God. or not, dude? That's Fuck. funny. <laughs> Does she have cancer or not? Do they find <laughs> it? Wait, is it benign? It? I need Wait. to know. Wait, is that a storyline uh, for some porn? Cancer. They're like, we're sorry. We, you have a tumor. <laughs> we're gonna have cancer. to. Uh, we're gonna have to rectally examine. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <laughs> to find shit. out if it's benign or malignant. If That's you could start off by malignant, <laughs> malignant my balls. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, <laughs> let's make them pour like not to. like together, but like let's <laughs> shoot it. One hundred percent. All right, listen, bro. It's uh, it's eight thirty-two. I think I think the night's about to get started. Is there anything else that you that Ooh. you want? I mean, there could be nothing. Um, yeah, nothing that pops off the top of noggin, man. Thanks for having me on. Is that, a, is that an aura ring? Yeah, aura ring. Dude, I've been tracking, like, UFC just got sponsored by aura ring, like, this year sometime. Oh, Dude, cool. Dude, I, I have, like, three years of data. Like, I probably have, like, I've been tracking my sleep for three, four years. Wow. I got some of the best sleep in the UFC. What's your, uh, uh like, what's your resting heart rate when you're in camp? Like, um, I don't know. I, the, the Roman, the, the Russian UFC scientist goes over the data and my strength conditioning coach Brandon talks about my sleep every uh, Wednesday to talk about it he's like I have some of the best sleep in the UFC when I'm in fight camp like tonight I'm not gonna probably have that good sleep that's a subtle flex that's cool I I, I, I would it's use a, that as a dude, pickup line no, no it's a I, I bump <laughs> chicks because of that exactly no, it's, I, I a, it's a like skill a, though being able to get uh, sleeping good is a skill that oh, you can yeah, work absolutely. on and get better at and prepare you can prepare for sleep um, I, yeah I have a uh so, uh, a chili sleep pad. Mm, I do too. Keep it, keep it nice and cold. I yeah. love that thing, especially in Phoenix, dude. Without that, that combined with this, bro, you're oh, when you're I'm scientific sleeping. about your sleep. Yeah, sleeping. yeah. I, right, I, right, that's that's it, dude. That's all we got, Sean. It's been a pleasure. Thanks for coming on, dude, and finally, too. Guys, by the way, yeah. uh, if you guys want to follow him on Instagram, you can go ahead and do so. It's it's just sugar, sugar Sean, sugar, sugar Sean MMA champ, sugar, sugar Sean yeah. MMA champ, champ. No, I mean. I'm calling you champ. Thank yeah. you. Sugar Sean MMA. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to Pulse of the Number One Podcast, the world. We will see you next time. <laughs> Make sure to like, subscribe, and have some fun this weekend. We love you, George. Bye, George. Oh, yeah. Bye, George. We'll go find him. We'll go find him. We'll fix it. Bye.